All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, first of all, please invite your friends and don't forget to download the videos after we finish immediately. Um, our topic today is uh, about anger. Uh, but before we talk about it, uh, somebody asked me a question and um, I will answer. Please always subscribe and you can uh, join Patreon. Even if you are uh, doing donation, you can still join. And this way you will be updated because I post there, I post in Mind, I post on Facebook and in Twitter. And even in, in Instagram. Like if you have an Instagram, follow because few minutes before I you know, go on air, I make a video saying I am going live. Uh, a person asked me about the Muslims saying that we Christians, we pay the jizya as a tax. So we will answer about this before we go and start the topic about uh, the anger. You see, always, and this is a warning for all the Christians, never understand Islam from Muslims. You see, I, I got my degree in Islamic law. And everything I learned, which is negative about Islam, I did not learn from the school. Because who dare even to say the truth? In the school, they teach you what is, you know, let us say, if you do this, what will happen there? I mean, you study law and Sharia, and Sharia is very silly because if you go deep, you will find there's nothing. It's called Sharia. Sharia, I mean, like legalizing them something. But based on Islam. Now, when somebody says to you, any interpretation, any explanation for anything in his cult, will tell him, can you show me? The Muslims, when they make text, like, uh, you know, I, I saw the comments of the Muslims, angry Mohammedans, because many Muslims are leaving Islam. Like in the last 48 hours, we have three Muslims left Islam. Just life on air, not the one who speak to them under the air. And uh, the Muslims are very angry, and they are. He keep saying that Christian Prince is misquoting, uh, not giving you the mean, uh, giving you the mean out of context, etc. But I'm showing in the screen everything I show. You know, I'm saying, and now we will show you what the jizya mean. Jizya is coming from the word jaza, which means penalty. As an example, if we go in the Quran. We search for the word jaza. All those verses here speaking about jaza. Look how many jaza, jaza, jaza. What what is jaza? As an example, chapter five, verse number thirty-three. And this is the word jaza in the front of us. Uh, that those, uh, uh, you know, those those who do uh, war against Allah, uh, Allah will do a jaza for them, which means Allah will punish them. And what is the punishment? Depend in the case, you know. In some cases, you 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 will be killed. Uh, some cases you will be, uh, you know, they cut your foot, your hand, you know, they, they bend. All right. So they bend. So this is jaza. Jaza is saying uh, penalty. The jizya is the penalty itself, which means it's an it's a noun of it. Okay. Like. Uh, Jaza is is uh, is a name of of something they they will do. Jizya is known to be a money you will pay, uh, and for a reason. Now, what is the reason? This is Ibn Kathir, chapter nine, verse number twenty nine. You can read the chapter. You know, take your time and read by yourself. But if we go there here, 
Ibn Kathir, he explained what is the jizya. And here right away you will see how the Muslims always they lie to us. And this is why I say, don't ever trust them saying anything to you about the cult of Islam. Very rarely, you know, I believe strongly, me myself, that the only one will be truthful if you speak to him about Islam is somebody he belonged to ISIS. Those are brave people. When I say brave, I mean they are not shy. I believe they are coward, but they are brave to say what they believe. I, I say they are coward because they attack, you know, people unarmed, women, children, kidnap them. Very coward. But they are brave to say what they believe. The rest of the Muslims, especially those who live in the West, they sneak around. They don't really, like, a, there's a Shia guy, his name is Imam Tawhidi. I never saw a liar more than him. I mean, this guy, even he did beat Muhammad. Paying jizya is a sign of kufr and disgrace. So this is not a tax. They told you it's a tax. Well, tax, everybody pay tax. Uh, tax is not a sign of disgrace, actually. Uh, tax is a sign that you are a citizen and you have equal right. Christians don't have any rights, except not to be killed if they pay. So the jizya simply is pay or die. Here it says, until they pay the jizya for they do not choose to embrace Islam. So what is the reason for the jizya? Not because you are bad or... No, no, no. This is for very you know simple reason you refuse to accept Muhammad to be a prophet then you have to pay it and you have to be humiliated as you see it have to come with the, with the price not only in the money it have to come with the price of humiliation and here we see how they lie to us when they explain what is jizya Ibn Kathir, he speaks in a time where the Islamic State is not, uh, you know, uh, ashamed of their teaching. This is our teaching. But if Ibn Kathir was an immigrant who is coming to the West, he will, you know, he will cover a lot. And by the way, Ibn Kathir, he cover a lot still. Because Ibn Kathir, he lived in Syria, where there's a lot of Christians. And all his interpretation was to defend Islam, not really to explain. So here, you see Ibn Kathir saying, and feel the, the, themselves subdued, disgrace, humiliated, etc. Therefore, the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the Dhimma. People of the Dhimma is the Christians and the Jews. What does that mean? What, what Dhimma mean? It means Muhammad, he grant them. If they pay him, they will not be killed. It's a mafia. You know, pay us, we protect you. Protect you from whom? From ourselves. We will not kill you. They are not protecting us from somebody else. They are the occupation. All those countries you see in the Middle East, none of them have to do with the Arab, as an example. Muhammad, he came, and after him, the Muslims, like they went all the way to Iran, they went all the way to Egypt, uh, Libya, uh, Algeria, Morocco. What do, what those countries have to do with Islam? Nothing. What those, those are African countries. And imagine now, just because of Islam, this is what Islam does. Islam not only a religion force itself Islam destroy cultures which mean a person from Algeria he want to convince himself now that he is not Algerian Amazir which is the origin of those people he is an Arab same for somebody from Morocco even somebody from Somalia you know Somalia and their people they have a dark skin what do you what have you what have you to do with the with the Arab the Arab are white people so just because of Islam, everybody starts saying, I am an Arab. So he is like a, to be an, like a, okay, the Arab are the masters. You know, Osama bin Laden, he was a big shot in Afghanistan for a very simple reason. He is an Arab and he is a Saudi. He's like God. Arab and Saudi, in, like twice, like two things in the same time. Because Muhammad is from there. So the Muslims are not allowed to respect the Christians and they have an order to humiliate them, as you see. And the Muslims, they have a duty to keep them miserable, disgraced, humiliated. 
and here you will see the ethic of the prophet and this is actually fit with our topic about anger don't initiate the salam to the Jews and the Christians and if you meet any of them in the road force them to the narrowest alley in the old days the dirty water used to run in the side of the road which means it's a sewage but it is all day sewage so if a Muslim coming in the road and you are coming as a Christian or a Jew in the other direction or even he is coming from the same direction you are he arrived to your side you have to jump immediately in the sewage you don't change your road you know the Muslim they will say to you because it sounds like narrow alley he's just forcing you to change your road maybe you know no you will be in the road but you will be in the sewage there was a video made by a Muslim actually I used to have it in my computer but uh, I think I lost it uh, he was saying how Islam was able to force itself on the Christians in many countries as an example he gave an example in the video you will be with your son and a Christian is not allowed to ride his donkey facing the head of the donkey so how he ride he have to ride and his back is to the head of the donkey which is funny imagine you ride a horse or a donkey by the way you can't they can't ride a, ride a horse only donkeys so you ride the donkey but your face facing the ass of the donkey just to him you lead them and that the guy in the in the video was saying so imagine you have a son and your son says hey dad why why everybody is facing the street the, the, the front except you then he will say to you because we are Christians and with all this pressure they will leave Christianity and they will come to Islam and this is how Allah guided them so the humiliation was enforced in order to force those people to convert to Islam but after a certain time when the Muslims have became a big number and they don't want any like they don't care really for more people converting because the enemy the army became big so even when some Christians offer to convert to Islam the Caliphate he reject he refuse because he want money still to come if they convert to Islam they will not pay jizya you notice if they convert to Islam they will not pay jizya here you see this is why this is why the leader the faithful Umar this is the Caliphate after Muhammad uh, he uh, uh, with his demand his well-known demand the condition to meet by the Christians these conditions to ensure their continue humiliation, discrimination, etc. So, my friend, when they say to you it's a tax, that's a big fat lie. Now, here you notice that Muhammad, as a person, uh, always he tried to find a solution by creating uh, or by fabricating Quran. As an example. Muhammad he want to kill everybody who don't believe in Allah but why now he accepted money okay don't believe in Allah don't believe in Muhammad pay us Muhammad because he is a false prophet he is willing to compromise a person who says in the hadith I've been ordered to fight and kill all mankind until they say the following which mean to say the Shahada which is converting to Islam or you die as we see in the following hadith so all those stories reporting the same thing that Muhammad he been ordered claiming that this is an order from God this is not him he is just a servant to fight and kill everybody unless they testify that he is the Prophet and they testify that Allah is the only God to worship and not only that they have to pray as he pray, to eat as he eat, uh, face the Kaaba, etc. So even the food, it's not a choice for you to choose what to eat or not. You have to. So all of those together, you have to do them. And then only then, Muhammad, he will not shed your blood as you see in front of your eyes in the screen. So Muhammad, uh, you know, always... Uh, uh, he compromised the bend in his situation as an example when when the Muslims were weak in the same chapter 9 same chapter 9 
you will see in verse number one Muhammad he washed his hands from the agreement of peace with the non-believers declaration of what he washed his hands from the agreement from the treaty uh, which mean uh, I will explain it to you in a simple way Egypt did sign a peace agreement with Israel but any of you really believe that the Israeli will have ever a peace agreement with any of their neighbors I don't know if there is any Jew in the chat could fight here be explained verbally I mean not necessarily fight by the sword yeah well can be can be but my friend he used the word uqatil and you speak Arabic uqatil is fight to kill coming from the word qatala not like in English fight the word fight can be many things in Arabic the word uqatil you know it is fight to kill qatala is the past tense which means I killed so don't go there secondly did your prophet do something metaphorically or he did kill an attack I mean sometimes you fatty are very you are very silly I mean how many attack Muhammad he did how many people he killed so how you can say maybe he meant uh, it's uh, something like, like uh, he don't mean brother that can be like Jesus said I can I brought sword but the sword the sword is in us people will discriminate us so you Muslims you quote the verse for us but did Jesus kill anyone did he carry a sword and he slot slaughtering do we have an army so I brought a sword and the sword is a sword but the sword here is a metaphorical about what will happen to us he said people will take you out of the synagogue and they will think by killing you they are doing favor to God but in the hadith here Muhammad he practiced and he told you what is the fight reason and he says clearly I will not shed their blood and this is how I find sometimes the comment of uh, of, uh, of uh, Muslims it's very I don't know naive I mean does it say does it say then their blood and the property will be sacred <laughs> does it say is that metaphorical so I understand that a Muslim a Muhammadan he tried to defend his uh, and by the way I feel sorry for the Muslims you see the Muslims get so upset from me when I debate any Muslim I did beat them in any debate not because I'm a genius but because Islam is stupid I mean it's not my fault it's not my fault you are defending the one which nobody can defend but let me tell you what you do usually usually like what the, what Vidi the Fadi he did now you speak to somebody is a Western he have no idea what Islam is about or somebody he learned two words in, about Islam and now he want to debate you that person you can play the game with him not with me play all the games you want but you cannot do that with me The jizya, there's no, no, there's no number of the jizya. Every caliphate he have his own, because the Quran never mentioned where. So it's up to the caliphate. The caliphate, you know, he decide as he wish. The caliphate or the prince of the area, prince is not like a royal prince. It's a Muslim. They hire him to be controlling that area. They call him prince. Sometimes even the leader of a few fighters. Uh, uh, you know, the word here is emir, which means it's the same word for you as for a prince but it's like the one who give orders anyway so Muhammad he always he played his game when he is weak okay uh, uh, just to show you uh, Fadi is making a comment let us answer him Fadi is making a comment. 
so but why saying Islam is evil because Allah told Muhammad was ordered to fight to spread Islam good order God ordered the Jews to fight as well it's mentioned in the Old Testament yeah, but the Jews they never spend Judaism and they never force anyone to convert to the religion they fought for surviving the whole nation had been taken twice as a slavery additional to thousands of nations attacking them so there's a huge difference between this and that uh, at the same time Muhammad as you see here is attacking people for no reason there's no reason he just fabricate reasons and this is why he compromise so Muhammad just for the sake of money he compromise you have to believe in Allah otherwise I will kill you but if you pay me it's okay this is not a decent man either they are kuffar and Allah order you to fight all mankind until they do this or that but you say to me if I pay you okay I'm prophet of Allah and now if you give me your dollar if you show me the dollar I will not kill you every month I will stop in the front of your house and you pay me you will be my cow I sit home do no business and you feed me and you feed my family this is what Muslims was doing for centuries everybody work make money for them the caliphate in, uh, in the, the Muslim they said to you did you do you know what we did in Andalusia, Andalusia? they call it Andalusia that even changed the name of Spain uh, the money this is the money is a theft the money was coming from countries and and lands which they stole and they start building palaces and the one who built the palace is not even the Arab the Arab until now did not know even how to build a building until now in the Middle East Saturday and Sunday is the off day for the jewelry stores why because the one who make and make jewelry is, is not not Muslims most of the mosque of the Muslims is built by Christians specifically because Muslims don't have uh, you know when when they attack Spain the all the boats all the boat they use in the attack it was made by the Aramaic Syrian in Syria when they attack you know occupy Syria those Aramaic they, they knew how to make boats the Aramaic the, the word Europe is Aramaic the word Africa is Aramaic so the Aramaic are very great civilization Islam came Aramaic is gone civilization destroyed same as Egypt Egypt was one of the greatest civilization in this earth Islam came bingo it's gone wherever Islam come civilization go out go and see what happened in the last 24 hours 48 hours week since Ramadan started how many people get killed just today to attack in mosque Muslims attacking mosque you see they make big, big propaganda about a guy crazy guy filthy guy who attack a mosque in New Zealand but Muslims attacking mosque every day every day bombs every day so is that because you are a Muslim you can it's okay to kill Muslims yeah this is the case actually Muhammad he allow it same time uh, we have always to remember that Muhammad he made it clear in the Quran that you should not as a Muslim go for peace unless you are not the uppermost and he used the the word alone what did alone mean the supreme the superior the Muslims believe that they are superior other any human being they are they are a human the rest are you know they are just uh, and I will show you the reference this is the Quran chapter 47 verse number 35 read carefully with me and this is the Muslim translation do you see the Muslim translation I don't know this translation is weird what slacken slacken what is that this is like what is that an Irish thing it has changed this uh, slack and madness what's slacking what is that let us see the potato Yusuf Ali okay 
but not weary and faint hearted crying for peace when you should be the uppermost the uppermost here really is not a good translation when you are the supreme supreme because the Muslims are the supreme so when a Muslim can sign a peace agreement only when he is weak he cannot make it so Egypt when the Egyptian they signed a peace agreement the president of Egypt he invited the Azhar sheikhs to discuss with them and they told him no problem the Prophet he did that he did even the same agreement with the Jews but when he got strong he attacked them and he killed them all so now we are not stronger than Israel the Quran says it clearly never go for peace when you are the uppermost so when I can go for peace when I am not the uppermost so this is a temporary peace so <clears throat> if the Jews believe that they have peace with their neighbor Jordan and Egypt that's mean the, the Jewish are foolish people to believe in that you know what I mean that would be a very foolish foolish to believe in that is just very very temporary especially now uh, the Shia and the Sunni they are they want to eat each other so Israel now is so relaxing because of Shia and Sunni but look at the mistake Israel is doing or even Trump is doing Trump now if he go in war with Iran who is the one who Israel think you know the Israeli think Iran is the big problem so we need to change the regime I don't agree I, I like to the, this regime to change but this is not what I'm talking about uh, <clears throat> you see if there is no Iran Saudi Arabia will not get close to Israel Emirates, Saudi Arabia Bahrain all of them they are being so friendly these days to Israel why because they are terrified if Iran attack them they will eat them alive <clears throat> you know what I mean so the existence of the regime of Iran made Israel relax <laughs> the Sunni are weak the Sunni are majority are population but they are not smart like the Persian all the Sunni in the Middle East they are Arab and you know we have to admit that we Arab we are not to compare with the Persian when the Arab they were sleeping in their tent having a, a bunch of goats around them the Persian they have science and they have I mean they are that this is a great civilization so uh, if not if not America USA if not Israel the Iranian they can eat Hezbollah uh, sorry they can eat as uh, the, the king of Saudi Arabia for dinner just for a dinner you know even when Saddam Hussein he have a fight with the with the Iranian the whole world thing that Saddam Hussein was fighting Iranian it was not Saddam Hussein it was America behind him giving him satellite information missiles weapon and the Saudi pay and the Emirati pay and the pay Bahraini pay and Kuwait pay everybody pay even almost the Arab they went bankrupt because of that war still they could not win the war against Iran so if the Iranian regime disappear and now we will not have a Shia Iranian Islamic Republic then the Muslim Sunni they will turn their faces to fight Israel again are you getting my point right now they are terrified because the Shia the Shia number is growing in Yemen in Lebanon in Syria in Iraq and for sure Iran almost 80 percent or maybe maybe 90 percent is, is Shia and uh, and they are connected now Iran Iraq Syria Lebanon that's it same time if you go in the Gulf Oman is a kind of Shia the, the, the Sultan of Oman and his country and Yemen most of people now became Shia and this is terrifying for the Sunni they are surrounding them from all over now suppose today we will talk about uh, anger 
should we go to the anger or continue in this topic so I believe the Israeli is it's better for them if the Iranian regime stay if I am if I am Netanyahu <laughs> I should pay the regime of Iran to stay not to leave because they will never attack Israel you know those people they like uh, they say death to America death to Israel death to America but they don't even dare to fart neither at America neither at Israel you know what I mean so let them okay as long they scream but they do nothing let them stay let them be busy Saudi Iran you know because those people they have to find an enemy now the Shia is their enemy if you if you if you if you help them to get rid of the Shia they will turn their face on you all right now is the Saudi protected by America there's nothing is called Saudi if not America and England there's nothing is called Saudi Saudi you see even the thing the, the name is a shame what Saudi Saudi is the last name of the family king, the, of the king so how, how have you ever heard of a country have a name of a, a, a family king <laughs> imagine we change the name of USA make it a Trump that a Trump, uh, United uh, United State of Trump <laughs> so all of those the royal families they are not royal they are Bedouin who live in a tent and since they, they discover the Arab the British intelligent they start you know making kingdoms and princes the king of uh, Jordan this guy is this, those guys are potatoes they don't those they never have kings they never been kings they never even been princes they made them royal family all of those are the made of the British intelligent and then after that when when the uh, uh, the British uh, uh, is not an empire as as before and the one who grow and became the most powerful nation is USA so USA took over so all of those are exist just because of USA who is the one who get Kuwait back from Saddam Hussein nobody can get it back the Saudi cannot who who can USA you know so yes they are the one who protect the Saudi all right uh, uh, before and now and in the future they will protect them as long you know the Saudi they pay nothing for free uh, nobody is doing like a charity this is not a charity business even Trump he says to them give us your check hello pay us we are protecting you it's not even a like before they used to like you know and they don't say it publicly but Trump is you know you know him pay us we protect you business is business uh, anyway you know this is not a blood money this is not a blood money this is oil money and if if somebody protecting somebody well you know it, it costs them money too they send you or send their army etc this is not for free not for free you see there's many countries in the world they are getting protection of USA for free because American they were stupid for long as an example Japan Japan they have many threat around them they have uh, problems with Russia they have big problems with the Chinese uh, you know they have many problems and just by having the American they are secure and they don't even need to have an army so Japan never pay a penny so what happened Japan became very rich in economy very poor in army but who need an army if somebody else spend his money in the army to defend us perfect because the American they were fool they defend Japan for for free all right same as Europe you know most of the NATO cost is American pay since until Trump he came this guy is a businessman he's smart he said why are we, why we are paying to protect you why we pay for everything you have to pay your shares all of them they get rich like look at Germany how rich it is why America will pay for Germany to pay, to protect Germany so American they've been foolish for a long time long 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 time but anyway uh, this is politics and stupidity and you know for me I never like uh, uh, Western leaders uh, always I view them as a as a guy who just uh, joined the circ you know like the enemy the, the, the animals uh, who dance in the circ etc I don't see between Western leaders any leaders really I see a bunch of idiots 
and the only one maybe until now he's different is Trump but even Trump sometimes he is an idiot you know uh, but let us say he is the best idiot between the idiots if we can say that so so he is better than them uh, at least he knew how to make money now we go back to our topic I have a question about Islam when women get miscarriage the child will pull her up heaven no 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 this is not for the women okay uh, it's okay you see uh, we don't have to go by the topic we can go we can talk about the topic later this is a question uh, this uh, gentleman saying uh, like if a woman she lose her child she go to heaven oh Susanna sorry Susanna not a, not a guy it's a it's a it's a lady Susanna right I apologize uh, the one who who according to Islam uh, as an example if somebody you know Muhammad always he say uh, he say crazy stuff as an example if somebody his children's they die from uh, drowning the father if he have a three kids who die from drowning they will go to heaven <laughs> uh, let me see if I find you so Muhammad he have many of those stories which is very funny and you know uh, uh, you know it, it, it doesn't make any sense anyway um, and even Muhammad he says if somebody uh, he he died drowning even the man who died drowning he is a he is a shaheed is a murderer he will go to heaven which is very funny um, anyway Muhammad he said many tons of things uh, and they don't make sense as usual I'm trying to find the hadith Let us see. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just trying to remember the hadith uh, details so I can search for it. Yeah, here we go. I found this one. But let us see if we can find it in English. However, let us say that what you said is it true. I mean, why if somebody is, you know, a woman, she lost her baby, uh, she will go to heaven. I mean, that's, that's weird. <laughs> and what does that mean? Isn't it all is happened by the will of Allah, which means Allah is the made those babies die? Stupidity, you know, Muhammad he says stupid things. He, you know, this guy he's like a he's like a madman who keeps saying things they don't make sense. Read carefully. He said, The Messenger of Allah said, There's no, there are no two Muslims, three of whose children die before reaching property, but Allah will forgive them and give mercy toward them. Okay, forgive who? Not the children's will give the the the, uh, uh, the parents look at this one there are no two children's or the children die before birthday okay uh, it will be said to them enter paradise and here supposedly the the the, 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 the Muslims who they have that let us show you the other one um, 
Umm Salim, what, what the Prophet says, plus him, etc. There is no Muslim couple who have three of their children die without Allah admitting them to the garden of Shemin Paradise. So if you are if you are married and you have and you and your wife you lost three children before they reach the age of being adult, Allah will take you to heaven. I mean, what is that? Don't you think this is very silly? You know what I mean? What is that? Why they will go to heaven? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, if there is any Muslim can tell us why. There is people, they lose their whole family in war and etc. Uh, suddenly Allah is a merciful. Allah will put the, the sin of the Muslims like mountains in the top of the Christians. Allah caused thousands and thousands of people to die and millions. Hmm? Yeah. Anyway. So let us go back to our topic about uh, anger uh, uh, management. Shall we? We answer your questions. Don't forget, please, to download the video right after we finish. Uh, look at this. Uh, Look at this dog. You know, uh, all of us, human, animals, I mean, all, when they are angry, their look change. The look of a person or even an animal, it's different from being angry. Like as an example, this is a dog, it's called Husky. Well, this is a Husky. He is peaceful, look how, he look nice. So the previous dog look really scary, but the same dog can look really nice. So what a different anger. Anger can even change your look. All right. Either give you like a, ha a happy, uh, nice look, etc., or give you a look which is scary. The same creature, and that goes for a human being. Now, as long as we are talking about uh, dogs, I want to share this hadith with you before we go. <clears throat> okay, let's go here. In this hadith, you will see something funny in the translation. I don't know if you notice with me. Anyone notice me what is what's wrong in this translation in the page? Who noticed what the what what's wrong with this translation? Guys, if somebody want to talk to me, first you have to be a Muslim, otherwise, we have to give a time for the Christians. Then you cannot find me really in Skype because I changed the name there because I'm getting like thousands of ads every day. Scary. So I will add only people who I they want to talk to me and they are Muslims. If you are a Christian, only if it's necessary, please. Now, what is the problem? Yeah, bite him. Have you ever heard of a prophet saying to his followers, go and bite somebody? Any Muslim there listening to this, watching this? Have you ever heard? Of a prophet of God it doesn't matter what God is a Hindu Buddha is whatever he said to his followers if somebody is proud about his family previous to Islam bite him well what does that mean how are you mr. Noor we have a Noor Noor he is a Muslim so mr. Noor what do you think is that really what it says bite him Any Muslim can tell us what's happening here? Is it really your prophet saying if somebody is proud about his family previous to Islam, go bite him? Noor, I'm just asking you, type everything you want. You can call me, Noor. You have a Skype? I will call you. If you like it, we can talk. Go bite him. What does that mean? 
hadith are nonsense like, uh, you see guys this is what I like about Muslims uh, nor he just said something very important and I don't know if you notice with me what does that mean uh, Muhammad uh, 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 knew or saying that the hadith of his prophet are nonsense so Muslims they knew that their prophet something wrong with him but nor now he right away he will write again he will say no 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 this is not what I meant I mean the hadith are not trustworthy they don't make sense correct nor this is what you meant you are against the hadith right hadith doesn't make sense it's not the prophet who don't make sense ah, guys hadith were invented this is what I expected him to say I was right hadith were invented hundreds of years after Muhammad was gone okay what the Quran is the same what is the Quran of Muhammad the Quran of Muhammad never exists nobody have it the Quran Muslim they recite today it's called the recitation of Hafs but Hafs came more than 200 years after Muhammad and not only that according to Muslims he was a fraud and he was a thief so just because the hadith does not make sense to you you're rejected okay what about the Quran does the Quran make sense to you Noor no problem so Noor do you have a do you trust the Quran or you only the hadith is a problem for you all the Quran too is corrupt no, actually, this hadith is sahih. This hadith is sahih. This is not, this is not a weak hadith. This is sahih, as you see. So look, guys, what happened. In Arabic, it says, سَمِعْتُ النَّبِيَّ صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول من تعز بعزاء الجاهرية فأعضوه ولا تكنوا I heard the Prophet of Allah saying, the one who is proud about his family previously to Islam, Go and tell him to buy the private part. I'm not going to say the word, you know. You know what I'm talking about. The private part of the man. Tell him to go and buy the private part of his father. And don't call him by the name which he like, which means last name. His brother was his last name. Don't call him by that last name. So look how the Muslims, in order to fabricate the meaning, they are ashamed to say, the Prophet says, go and buy his private part. They said, go and bite him. And this is why Noor, who is a Muslim, he said, it does not make sense. I agree. This is a false translation. It doesn't make sense. But here you notice with me uh, how savage Muhammad is. I mean, what kind of a prophet saying if somebody, okay, somebody is proud about in, is in heritage. What's the problem? What? Why Allah will be upset? Because Muhammad himself, he don't have good heritage. He have nothing to be proud about. You see, the Muslim they say to you, Muhammad was from a great family. Blah 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 blah. This is all is garbage. When Khadija she did marry for Muhammad, she, in order to make her father agree to marry him, she drunk her father. She changed his clothes. She made him wear new clothes. She colored his beard. All of this when he is drunk. She made him drunk with Muhammad. The guy, when he woke up in the morning, he says, why I'm wearing those clothes? Those clothes, I go for like party. This like, you know, in the old days, there's clothes for, uh, like now, even now, there's clothes for every day and there's a clothes which expensive for occasions. So he says, why, why I, I'm colored? Why I'm wearing those clothes? What happened? She said, you forgot yesterday she married me to Muhammad. And when he heard that she married, he she got married from Muhammad. He took his sword and he wanna go and attack the family of Muhammad. He wanna take his cousin and his family and his tribe to attack Muhammad. There is no way I will marry my daughter to Muhammad. Why? Because Muhammad is not from the same level. And here you notice how bad the situation is. But anyway, here you see that Muhammad he have a very bad. Uh, he have he have a bad anger management. Muhammad is angry. He's angry from his life. He's angry from who is he. He's angry. He is not confident to the point if somebody is proud about his family, 
go and bite him or let us say bite the private part of his father but Muhammad he claimed Muhammad he claimed that he and his family are the best so why if somebody is proud about his family tell him to go and bite the private part of his father but if Muhammad is proud about his family previous to Islam it's okay Any Muslim want to say anything? Isn't it this is hypocrisy? Why Muhammad he says Allah chose from etc., from the tribe of etc., from the tribe of etc., and from the tribe of etc., the family of etc., and I am the best of the fa family. But this is his, his, his heritage. So why he can be proud? And someone else cannot be proud. Any Muslim? No Muslims want to answer. All right. But here Muhammad, you notice that he is refusing anyone to be proud because he don't want to have competition. If you remember the story, if you have my book, where Muhammad, he killed an innocent man just because he is a very decent and he pray a lot. Muhammad he ordered Abu Bakr and Umar and Ali one after one to go to kill the guy the guy is praying in the mosque just because before he arrived they were saying this man is the best ever we saw Muhammad he told them that this is the shaitan but the guy did nothing he killed no one he harmed no one he is a very devoted believer he pray a lot and here Muhammad because he is not self-confident so now he found in this guy a competition dangerous people will look at him how long how much he pray and look at me and I am the Prophet who spend my day going between women from women to women so uh, Muhammad he cannot accept anyone to be better than him and that bring his anger same time Muhammad always proved to us that he is a person who have no control of his behavior and here we're not talking about his sexuality we spoke about this many times before but even about his anger which come with violence maybe many of you do not know that Muhammad he used to beat Muslims he used to beat them up you know you are the leader and nobody can beat you up back and your prophet and nobody dare to say to you because he have an army he's a king now Muhammad he used to beat people unjustly is that correct Muslims is that correct Muslims or I'm lying is that true that Muhammad he used to beat people up just because of his anger not only he beat them, he used to curse them and use a bad language with them. No, that the story about Khadija and uh, make her father drunk, this is not in the Quran. Any Muslim? Let us go to the Hadith. Read this hadith with me, and actually, all of those stories are sahih, which means they are very, very correct. Muhammad, he used to hurt, he used to whip, he used to beat people for no reason. And look 
look at the madness of this man he claimed that he made a condition he made an agreement with Allah he put conditions in Allah okay what is the condition anyone he beat him he curse him he say the F word to him Allah will make that a blessing to the one who the Prophet beat him so if you like to get a blessing from Allah let the Prophet beat you the Prophet get angry the Prophet he said the F word to you the Prophet he's you know he's he he whip you with the with the with the you know and then you get a blessing read I'm not I'm not making things up Aisha reported that two per persons visited Allah messenger and both of them talked about a thing something which I'm not aware of she didn't know what they were talking about but that annoyed him and he invoked the curse upon both of them and he heard etc blah 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 and then he says she said to him why what happened he said uh, the good would reach everyone but I would not reach those two he said uh, why so I think she said I said because uh, she said uh, this Aisha because you have invoked a curse and heard uh, over them uh, he said don't you know don't you know oh, no she don't know why oh, she don't know don't you know okay know what I am a human being and that for a Muslim upon whom I invoke curse or hurt or a hurl etc uh, make a curse or a purity and reward for him. I mean, the translation here is really horrible. This guy, I think he is using Google Translation. It is, you see, the other one. I mean, what the trans what is the translation? This translation is Oh Allah, I make a covenant with thee against which thou wouldst never go. I am a human being, and thus for a Muslim whom I give any harm. Muhammad doing harm to who to Muslims or whom I scold the one I hurt I whip I you know that even translation here is not good I whip him the one who invoke curse upon him the one even I beat him make this a source of a blessing and purification enter the day of resurrection so Muhammad he made conditions he made an agreement with Allah that there is people who beat them who should he should not beat them he agreed that he is not being fair he agree that uh, this is not right but what he can do with his anger management he found a solution I beat you Allah give you reward Muhammad he will not control his anger you know anger management but Muhammad he found the solution I'm not going to change and I'm, I'm not going to promise you I will not beat you no more I will not curse you I won't say the F word to you no 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 I will keep doing that my anger management there's no solution for it but I have a good news for you. I say the F word to you, Allah give you reward. I beat you up, Allah give you reward. So if there is any Muslim would like to get the blessing from Allah, then here we go. Uh, Noor, you want me to come to Paltok? Yeah, I saw there's I could not find his name in Pal Talk. This name is uh, sorry in uh, uh, the Pal Talk. Okay, okay, let me open Pal Talk. We have a Muslim on a call me in Pal Talk. Let us see what you want to say. <coughs> Mr. Noor. Okay, I am in Pal Talk now. I will look for you, Mr. Noor. Uh, 
Okay, Mr. Noor. Here we go. Hey, Salaam Alaikum. Wa Alaikum as Mr. Hello. Noor, how are you? Hold on one second. Let me uh, mute your, your stream. Okay, can you hear me? I do hear you. Please just uh, be sure you mute YouTube so we don't have duplicate of voice. Yeah, one second. Let me uh, put on my headphones, actually. God All right. Keep YouTube right really but uh, just to mute the sound. I think it was actually coming from my speakers, not your your YouTube. Cause I already muted it, so yeah. All right. So, so what what do you want to say to us, Mister No? Well, so I think we should keep it organized a little bit. So, if you want to just ask me a few questions, whatever you think about Islam, I can answer it, God willing, and then I can just a ask you questions, and we can kind no, of no. I don't want to ask you the questions. I want you to tell me something good about Islam. Anything? Uh, feel free. How you can convince? Here we go. We have like eight hundred Christians maybe listening. And uh, God knows how many later as thousands will listen to this and you are like YouTube. How you can prove to those Christians that Islam is from God? Yeah, that's fine. So the core teaching of Islam is to reverence God alone, submit to God and to do good and be righteous as it says over and over in the Quran and it forbids evil hmm. and uh, clearly says that those who believe and do good works will go to paradise, God willing, and uh, hell is the abode of the criminals, the main teaching. Hmm. So everything falls under in Islam. So is, is, and, uh, is, there is, is good work including you beat them up and that will give them deeds to go to paradise? Beat who up? Yeah, like here the hadith in front of us here it says that the Prophet saying that the one who he beat him up he made a condition with Allah that he will give him reward. So the Prophet he beat you or even he cursed you or even he said a bad word to your mother or your father like you know dirty language and that will give you blessing from Allah, and obviously that will take you to heaven. Is that the way to go to heaven? No, that doesn't. No, that doesn't make any sense. And I don't follow hadiths, and uh, I don't believe them anyway because there's no way to verify them. They were just no, this written is, hundreds this of is, years after he was gone. No, this is Sahih. Okay, uh, so you believe in the Quran nah. only? You don't believe in the hadith? Yeah. I, oh, no, nah, because uh, the Quran is from God. Hadiths were just invented by men for what they thought that they heard him say. There are additional books, and there's no way to really verify All whether right. or not he said that. All right. What about the Quran? Not there, part of there's any way to verify that he said anything in the Quran? What is what is the proof that the Quran is from God anyway? How you can prove to so us I'm okay. that the Quran is from God? Well, as long you, you said you want to verify. Yes. How you can verify? Well, I don't think that there's a way to prove it 100%. I believe it is. However, there is some evidence that it is. Like what? Just based off what it teaches. Well, like the prose and how it's written, how clear it is. How clear? Um, just but, overall style. I don't know. The yeah, Quran how says, clear it is. My friend, as I know, the Quran says nobody understands the Quran save Allah. So how clear it no. is? Well, it says it's a, in a clear Quran. I know you can hear the typing, but I'll find the... Uh... No problem. Take your time. Yeah, so 3669, in the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful, we did not teach him poetry, nor does he need it. This is a reminder in a clear Quran. And it tells us to think and to reflect about it um, at the same time so 36 39 correct it says that the quran is a clear correct 36 36 69 yeah it's a 59 clear, clear 59 36 69 36 69, 69. Okay, sorry all right so yeah, here the quran okay. the quran is so clear correct yeah there are some ayat in there that are purposely not clear but Purposely, what is in that general? Mean? It's a clear Quran. What do you mean? Well, three seven. Well, three three seven explains it best. So it says, "He is the one who sent down to you the book from which there are law giving revelations. They are the essence of the book, and others which are of a similitude. As for those who have disease in their hearts, they will follow that which is of a similitude, seeking to confuse and seeking to derive their interpretation. But none know its interpretation except God. And those who are well founded in knowledge, they say, we believe in it. All is from our Lord, and none will remember except those who possess intelligence. So, however you interpret." Of a similitude mm -hmm. so it's saying it is a clear Quran and those who are well founded in knowledge will understand it who are guided by God but there are also no, some that say, can it, misinterpret it doesn't, say that. it doesn't say that it says that those who they are not understand that those who believe they say that those who have knowledge they will say we believe so to mm -hmm. can be considered as a scholar in Islam is not about understanding it's about saying I believe which means that doesn't make sense. No, knowledge is so important. Three seven says, and those who are well founded in knowledge, 
So it's true that we believe in it. I have belief as well. There is some faith, like believing in okay, God, because we can't prove, see them, but let, we still have let, knowledge. Let us, let us prove what you just said. In the same chapter, I'm not going to ask you from different chapter, chapter 36. And you are the one who said to me, this chapter here, saying to us, or this verse 69, saying that Allah, he made the Quran very clear, correct? Right. All right. So how the Quran says, in the same chapter that uh, and the sun runs into its own course what is which that? one is that the same chapter i mean i've read chapter i've read the Quran over five times but i don't have it memorized yet so yeah no problem chapter 36 the same me? chapter you gave me verse oh, i see it. yeah 36 verse number 38 okay as long as you say to us the Quran is so clear, okay. What does that mean? The, the sun run. Do the sun run? Well, it says the sun runs to a specific destination. Okay, what is the best such as the design what, of the noble? The what, knowledgeable. Is, what, what is that? Well, it's what we see. I mean, we see the sun in the sky, it's the same destination every time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's but, a specific so, destination. But, but this means Allah is wrong because uh, the sun is not running anywhere. So Allah, He see as we see, or He see different. Well, just a, that's petty semantics. I mean, it's running in an orbit. Yeah, but he's doesn't matter about, if you say run he's or He's talking orbit. about. He's talking about. You just said how we see the sun. That's mean that the sun sitting, sunset, sun sunrise, correct? I mean, you can say that water is running. You know, is that wrong? No, the water, is running. Yes, water it is, is running. running. No, water is running. If it's running, it doesn't running. literally run. No, it does. It doesn't literally run, no, just like the sun. It moves. No, no, no. It does. It just does. Like the, the, sun. the water run. The water move from A to B. Water has legs. You're saying that water no, no, can no, run it, with legs. No, water doesn't my, have legs. My friend, it running, run. running have nothing to do. And I'm with, saying running have to do nothing to do. Okay. With remember, remember. First of all, you are not reading the Quran. In uh, uh, Quran is not meant to be in English. In Arabic, it says tajri. It actually is tajri, tajri. No, it's in Arabic. Tajri. Hmm? Yeah, I know the word tajri. It's mean yeah, go ahead. Go you ahead. run, you run. It, it's running from location to location. Now, you said and you agreed that this is about how we see the sun. So Allah speaking here about the sun setting, the sun rising, but this is absolutely false. The sun does not set. The sun yes, does I not rise. All, all it says is that it runs to a specific destination, and what is running that? is what interpreted is the same way that the same way that water is running. <laughs> okay, it moves friend. to a certain a certain uh, destination, okay, which okay. it does every single day. Go, it's just a all right. If we go just a, a, a two verses down, you can read the verse before. Sermon. You can read, read the verse before it, and the moon uh, after it have measured in their mansion. The Quran believe that the moon have mansions, and this is what the religions before believe that the the moon. Uh, he have mentions he live in the places and he moved from place to place and people even the Sabi and they used to go and uh, When the moon disappear uh, they go to the second town to welcome him in the other town because this is a new moon now here you notice that the moon have houses and He says to you and he run in the old way as it was in the old way, but this is not true I mean this is false now if you go in verse number 40 it says it's not permitted for the sun to catch up the moon, nor can the night outstrip the day. Each just swim along in its own orbit. Is that correct? Yeah, swimming in swimming in an orbit. But let's take one thing at a time. It's also important to quote the Quran correctly and not just interpret it, like not just use your own words every time. So 36, 39 says, and the moon we have measured it to appear in stages until it returns like an old palm sheath. Mm -hmm. Which it does. It's like the different stages of the moon, which is. But he normal. says it live in mansions. And is that true? There's mansions for the moon. The, no, I say that in the Quran. It says. It well, says it appears. It says no. it's in front of us. Everybody can read. I'm, re I'm reading your Muslim translation, not my translation. Yeah, which which one are you talking about? Thirty six, thirty nine. Yes. Yeah, it says, and the moon we have to appear in stages. What? So if you want to read from what, the one that I read from, what, it's what a monotheist what, translation. What translation you are reading? Here, I'll post it in chat. It's, you can Google it. It's called a monotheist translation. Otherwise, you can go here. Monotheist? To a, what does that mean, monotheist? Yeah, monotheist means one monotheist. That's what we are. We reverence one God. That, that is a new form. Monotheist. Let me see if we have it here. Yeah. Monotheist. It says it as well. 
talks about monotheism. Maududi, okay. Yeah, but my friend, you speak, I, I, do you speak Arabic? Uh, only some. I don't speak it fluently because yeah, it's not my native us, tongue. I mean, but I should this, learn it. This translation is absolutely false, my friend. It says, وَالْقَمَرُ قَدَّرْنَا مَنَازِلَ حَتَّى آدَكَ الْعَرْجَوْنُ الْقَدِيمُ So it says the word manazil. So how this guy who ever translated this translation, he said, you can copy this word manazil as you see in the screen, post it in Google, and you will see it mean houses or mansions. So this is a false translation. Well, there's lots of translations that translate it that says the moon we have measured it to appear okay. in stages. And see, Arabic is a rich language, and it doesn't have a single no problem. word definition okay, all the time. My friend, my, my friend, you say that's really not to give wrong interpretation. So how we can give interpretation for the Quran according to you? How do you interpret the Quran? Well, you should be you should think for yourself and ask God for knowledge and wisdom and okay. also consider the opinions but you could of not answer others me. And then you could not answer me. You are the one who said to me, you gave me verse number 13, I remember. Uh, 36, 39. Sorry, uh, uh, yeah. It, what, saying which one are you talking about? Saying to me that the Quran is so clear, the same chapter, right? But here I'm asking you now, how Allah, he says such a thing that the sun run into its course. You could not answer. You said that uh, we see the sun every day. No, I did answer it. Yeah. It does run its course. So no, it, it runs does, to its it not, destination every day. It earth. runs the same way that water. The earth, the earth is going around runs. itself. It's not list. The earth, no. it, the, the earth goes around itself. This is how the day happened. No, the no? sun rotates. It runs to a specific destination, just like it says. It's like okay. water, okay. a okay, river so, can so, run to okay, a destination. Okay, so the right. uh, okay according to you, when the sun uh, set every day. It's not the earth going around itself. This is the sun going from point A to point B from east to west. Yeah, and even no matter what you believe about it is also speculation. There's no point in even debating that because mm -hmm. you have no way to measure what it's doing besides what you can observe on earth, earth or what you trust what others say because you have no experience, experiment that you can do for yourself okay. to determine what it's actually doing. You know what I mean? So it's pointless to argue about mm -hmm. that. So, but you, There's you no could, way for okay. either of us to No problem. It. I will not argue about that. But you just confirm, and everybody heard you, that according to you, according to the Quran, as you understand it, the sun every day mm -hmm. go from the east to the west, correct? Well, it's... it's uh, How do I say it? There, there's no... It's nitpicky. I mean... The sun wrote it does its course every single day, just like it says, it runs to a specific destination every day. Mm, okay. You know, it has its cycles. I mean, there's nothing more to really argue about in that okay. sense. You know, so, see what the, the point okay, is. so now we, uh, we, you know, I'm not going to argue. Well, this is your opinion, and you think it looked like you know, you know better than me about science. But the Quran says, as long as you agree that the sun goes from point A to point B every day, some morning, uh, afternoon, and night. The Quran says that the sun set in the murky water. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, so before, so I'll continue to answer, God willing, but I also want to ask you a few things as well. So for now, I'm letting you talk about the Quran and ask about the Quran, which I'm fine with, but I also want to discuss Christianity and a few things that you might believe no as well. No problem, but you know, our, so, topic, our topic is Islam, but I don't know why you want to change. Well, it's Islam and Christianity because you're a Christian. It's not just Islam. No problem, no so problem. You, let, us, let us finish yeah. this. So... So now right. the sun's run every day from A to B, according to you. And mm -hmm. then the sun set in the murky water, chapter 18, verse number 86. Yep, I know what you're talking about. Let me okay. uh, read it again. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, until he reached the setting of the sun, he found a setting at a hot spring, and he found people near it. We said, oh, two-horned one, either you shall punish or you shall do them good. I don't know what this means. I don't know what God means by it. But uh, just because the friend, Quran is clear, you told me will Quran, understand everything. You told me that the Quran is clear. It is clear, okay. But that doesn't mean that anyone will have some things that God teach that we haven't learned yet, and nobody on this earth might know yet. So, what do you mean? What do you learn? You know, a second ago you told me that the well, sun, the sun well, just, goes every day from point A to point B, which everybody knows. Well, just that. like you and the. Go ahead. What are you saying? Everybody knows that what you said to me a minute ago, the sun does not go anywhere. The sun does not set, and you said no. This is what happened. And everybody right. in the chat don't agree with you. This is scientifically already proven to be false. So the Quran, no, according to you, the Quran is a false book teaching such a false information. And now we are showing you Allah saying the sun set in the murky water. And instead of saying to me, I agree with Allah. Yes, the sun swim every day and sit in the murky water. And maybe this is what it's meant that the sun run in its course. As you said, this is the course of the sun. Every day, go from the east to the, to the to the west, and then jump in the muddy, dirty, hot water. 
Well, so the first we're talking about running to a specific specific destination, there's no problem with that, even if some people disagree. It, it runs to a specific destination, as I've explained like four times. There's nothing wrong with that. It's mm. exactly mm. what it says. That's clear. Mm. As far as 1886, it can be interpreted, well, how it says. So it says, until he reached the setting of the sun, mm. he found it setting at a hot spring, which means he could be at a hot spring and he found it setting. Mm. It's, you know, even if things are perfectly clear, some people might interpret things different ways. Okay. Just like the Bible, you don't understand everything no, that the no, Bible might say. My, my friend, my friend. Interpretation hold, that okay, hold on. Here, if we go here, it says, who, first, who is the one who's talking in this verse? Who is it talking about? Who is talking? No, who is talking? Who is the one saying until he reached, when he reached? Who is talking? Well, it's the word of God. So it's God talking. Okay, so Allah it's, is it's talking. Really yeah, Allah is talking. Yeah. Allah, he says, until he, until when he, so he's talking about what? Talking about someone else. Until. Someone else. Okay, until is what? Is about timing, correct? Timing and location. Until when he reach the sitting of the sun. How he can reach that? Where is that? Yeah, I don't know. He did actually get to where it sets. You know, this idea that it just is a million miles away is nonsense, and I don't believe that, and neither of us can prove it either. You can believe what people tell you if you want to believe it without proof. No, no, no. You see, I'm but talking to you, my until friend. You can measure I'm, I'm talking to you. I don't care about what people will tell me. I'm trying to find out from you what you believe in this. You said the Quran is... Well, it can be figured... It can be figurative as well. Okay. Reaching the setting of the sun, meaning timing. No, 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 timing. no, no, no. Like, it says, my friend... Yeah, it's, until it's, you reach that time. No, my friend, listen carefully. Look, 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 let, me, let me explain to you. Here it says he is reporting. Allah is reporting a story about his a man. His name is Zulkarnain, and this guy he keep walking. He follow a road, and this is took him years. And then when he reached the sitting place of the sun, he found it set in a spring of murky water. So now Allah is reporting for us supposedly what is a fact. He is telling us things we do not know. What happened to a guy who passed in time before us? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. when he say he found the sitting place of the sun What is that how that how that can be true the sun set everywhere? Look what he said it doesn't uh, set everywhere. It goes uh, below the, the horizon That's all we know or it sets in a literal spring. No, no, no my uh, So you believe that the Sun set in the water according to you I Don't believe it, but I think that it could be possible according to this. I mean, uh, that's how you could interpret it That's possible. So uh, according to Mr. Noor, that it's possible that the, the sun set in the murky water and goes from the in a hot spring west, in a hot hot Not water. Murky. Okay, uh, actually, yeah. uh, yes, it's hot. You agree with you because the water well, it does say dark. Uh, Hamia, anyway. uh, Hamia. I mean, two things by the way. Hamia is a is a you know when they make um, I don't know what they call it in uh, in English. Like when it's they okay. make, when they make the bricks, you know what I mean. So the okay. the water of that brick, you know, it have to be uh, hot, and then even the brick itself, they they burn it after that. So uh, the Quran confirmed that the sun every day goes and jump in that pool, which is a spring of murky water. But how big the sun is the sun, and how how big this uh, spring of murky water? The sun is so big. Do you think the sun is like a small lamp or something? Well, it's definitely not as big as they teach us because it's also the same size as the moon besides when it's uh, being viewed through like the atmosphere and it's distorted when it's low. But when it's like up in the sky, it's the same size. And this idea that there are these extreme distances apart is ridiculous. So it's just like coincidence. So you, so you, so you, but you we think, don't know how big it is. So no, you, nobody does unless, okay. again, you trust So you think, you think like that maybe the sun is like in this small and jump in a swimming pool because it's a spring of water. How big is it going to be? Well, it could set in that. I mean, look how big the earth is. Yeah. It's not Let me ask unlikely. you, this spring of water is where? Is it in the earth? We don't know. It's wherever the sun sets. But the Quran is clear. About. Nobody knows where but, it is. But the Quran is clear. It, it is clear, but it's not an encyclopedia of everything. Mm. Just like you okay. know, the Bible is. It doesn't okay. explain every single thing because that would be way too big. All right. Even though it's if clear. We go, if we go down a little bit, it says, then he followed another way. Verse number 89. And then it says the same story again reported, but in the other direction. It says, until when he came to the rising place of the sun. What is that? 
It says, so when he reached the rising of the sun, he it, found a rising out of people for whom we did not make any cover except it. Yeah. Who, where is the rising place of the sun? Wherever it was, wherever he reached it. It doesn't say. But there, that's me. It's, it's not an encyclical. I'm not going to say everything. But that's mean there is a place where the sun rises according to Allah, correct? Yeah, sun rises. And, specific that, location. and that is a specific location, as you said. So, guys, there's a specific location, according to Mr. Noor, where the sun rise and that is uh, told by Allah and this is something nobody knows before correct is that something people Say that again? is that something uh, people know yeah, before, I mean, or something this is new new discovery this is new science uh, people might have known it I mean we don't know how old the earth actually is or how many civilizations came before us they may have known that they may have found it may have been able to study it better than us okay now, if we continue so we the story, know. he found he found uh, people there, and then Zulkarnain he uh, moved, and then he found uh, a group, and those a group they have a problem. There's a there's a there's uh, there's people or nations, uh, uh, two nations. They are they are called Gog and Magog. You know mm -hmm. you know the story of Gog and Magog. Okay, so mm -hmm. he you know they told him to build a dam between them. And the people of Gog and Magog, right? Okay, where 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 are those uh, people? How come we did not find them until now? I mean, it's relevant. We, we don't. Who cares where? It doesn't say. We don't know where that land is. Just yeah, like we don't know where Noah's Ark is. But the Quran or anything is so, else. It would be nice to know. Yeah, but the Quran is so clear. But we do not know. It is clear. Okay, it just it's it so just doesn't explain. Okay, it's so clear. It doesn't okay. have so, every single piece of knowledge in it. Okay, because friend. that would be. My way friend. too much. Okay. So let me ask you about a verse in the Bible then since you've talked for a long okay, time just, let's finish about the Quran. I've answered a lot of questions. Do you agree with Leviticus 20, 27 that my says friend. that a man or a woman who acts as a medium or fortune teller shall be put to death by stoning, that they have no one but themselves to blame? Do you yeah, agree with that? The, this is the law of Musa. What's wrong with it? You agree with killing fortune tellers by stoning? Well, this is the law of Musa. What's wrong with it? Because that's disgusting. Okay, uh -huh. so what about okay, but the Quran um, say the same the Quran say the same It doesn't it doesn't mention stone in anywhere. Okay, hold on what versus you that see, this is why I don't want you to jump so we can show you We can show your uh, related issues, you know in the Quran It says that anyone who wage war against Allah He should be crucified cut his hands cut his feet and even Muhammad in the hadith says he put nears in the eyes Now it doesn't say that say okay, that in the Quran on. Where, which uh, I got uh, it says if my friend people fight you to if they're if yeah. they're trying to kill you who is the one known yeah, this is not about fighting you see you, you told me you told me the quran is clear that's not true anyone who do wage war against allah who is the one who wage war against allah according to quran which which ayat is that chapter 5 verse number 33 okay hmm. yeah the recompense of those who fight god and his messenger and seek to make corruption in the land that they will be killed or crucified or that their hands and feet be cut off from alternate sides that they be banished from the land mm. that is a disgrace for them in this world and in the air after what they will have a great retribution mm. that is because they're trying to fight god and his messenger that's people who are attacking okay, so now it's not just killing uh, now i am attacking the prophet you understand i am now attacking yeah the if prophet. you try to kill us no 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 <laughs> you they try are, to not, attack they the are not trying to attack the prophet physically that's what it says okay hold on it says those no, no, who no, no. fight no 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 read read, read read carefully the verse after it says except who repent before they fall into your power in that case know that allah of forgiving merciful so if those people they killed okay the one who killed should be killed what repent you kill yeah, people someone... No, no, you kill people. If you already. start a war with God and His Messenger, uh -huh. then so they're war what? Which, what kind of war? war what, kind, what, kind, what kind of war? What kind of war? What kind of war? If I speak now against the Prophet, I am waging war against Allah. Is that correct? And we're not talking about words. No, no we are talking about says, words. We are talking about words. Right, God. And we are talking about words, not necessarily real war. His Messenger. Okay. No, okay. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're confusing war between words. Okay. I you, you, said see, words. you see, you see, you you are saying to me that uh, we don't want to give wrong interpretation for uh, Quran. What interpretation you read, so we can go together and see what this is meant. 
exactly what it says the recompense of those so you who don't fight wanna, god and his so messenger you, okay don't so you, fight us so you are it's saying no 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 it doesn't say it doesn't fight us my friend it doesn't say that. yes it does it says the recompense of those who fight god and his messenger for the third where, time where? No, you hear that you have here it's about yes fighting fighting is about fighting by what the prophet said i've been ordered to fight and command to fight all mankind to kill, to kill all mankind until they convert so that's it not, is him no, that's not okay here we go if we go okay hold, on. Two, okay, one, hold on hold on hold on hold on can you take a Christian or a Jew as a friend or he is always an enemy for you? We can treat them peacefully. That's no, no, this is not the question. This is not the question. This is not the question. They cannot be your ally. Why? Right. Why? Because they're we're not allowed to be allies with them. Why? Why? Because Are you allowed to ally? Because with, would you ally with Muslims? Why not? Would you ally with Satanists? Because we're not allowed with, to. With what? With what? It doesn't matter. There's nothing wrong with that. We have nothing against them. We can treat them peacefully. They can. No, 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 That's fine. No, we're cannot, not going to fight. You cannot treat them peacefully because the chapter, the, the chapter yes, nine, the chapter nine, verse twenty-nine says, "Kill the Christians and the Jews and the the Jizya." No, it doesn't. It does. And also, two one ninety says, "Okay, okay. fight in the okay. cause of the let us, let us cause read. of God against let us read together. You, but do not aggress. Okay. God does not love listen, the aggressors. Listen, listen, no, 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 no. This is the ch chapter of Tawbah came at the end of the Quran. The last thing Muhammad he came with before he died, and he said it clearly. Look, after he attacked and he killed all the the the, the enemies of the Arabian Peninsula, go and fight the Christians and the Jews. And the verse in the front of you, fight those. Look, you, you don't interrupt me, and I won't interrupt you. And we'll no problem. We'll get some. But does it okay? say? But right. Does let's it continue. say? Does it say fight for what reason in chapter nine, verse twenty-nine? Okay, let's look at that first, and then I have one to show you. Hmm. Five. Which one was it? Nine twenty-nine. Nine twenty-nine. Okay. Yeah. So it's under the context of what I was already telling you. Under the context of like two one ninety, hmm. which is fighting the cause of God against and so who God does not love the aggressors. Hmm. What aggressors he is saying fight those who don't believe in Allah he's not fight saying fighting because they are fighting you fight those who don't believe in Allah nor the last day nor 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 acknowledge as you see until they pay the jizya so if you pay him money you live or what he want from you no. either you convert to Islam or you or you die or you pay no it's until they pay the reparation yeah so that's a reparation for no. being wrong jizya. something done no, to you, and it's no, all in the context no, of the entire no. Quran. Jizya, no, 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 my friend. Your Quran says, Kutibat alayhim zulla. So Allah, he, 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 he made a destiny for them to be humiliated by you. Look what the Quran says. No. Fight them, Allah will torture them by your hands. Did he say that? No. That you you can interpret it how you, but that's not what I'm teaching as a Muslim. Who are now, you? Who are I've answered your question a lot for the Quran. Who, who are you to teach? I mean, I'm asking you. Are you? Are you Allah? I'm a Muslim. Are, are you a prophet? No. You okay? okay. The Quran no, says. Okay. Yeah, so you does the decide. Quran, my friend? Does the Quran says fight them to torture them? Uh, Allah torture them by your hands? Yes or no? No, it doesn't. Chapter nine, verse number fourteen. Read for me. I know what you're talking about. It doesn't say torture them by your hands. It says it says fight them. Hmm. It says fight them. Perhaps God will punish them by your hands and humiliate them and grant you victory over them and heal Thank the chest of the believing people. Thank you very much. And the one before okay. it says, Would you not fight a people who broke their oaths and obsessed to expel the messenger, especially while they were the ones okay, who attacked hold you on. first? Okay, Do you understand? Have you ever heard right. of something? See, okay, okay. That's why on. you're disingenuous my friend, because you my ignore friend. the one before it. My friend, you let see? Us, let us it be. says, especially uh, since they were the ones who attacked you first do you understand my I said friend, very clearly. okay let us see who is the one who broke okay. the oath yeah. chapter okay chapter 9 verse number one no that's it, i've no. answered enough about that the one no, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, says, hold on hold on no i've answered enough verse about number that. nine okay, i'll give you verse one more chapter one nine more the question. same chapter hold on verse number one it says that the one who washed his hand from the agreement is your prophet read it the same chapter verse number one okay let me look at it and then I'm going to ask you from the Bible because I've <laughs> answered enough. A revocation is made by God and his messenger to those with whom you have made a pledge from among the polytheists. What's your point? What it you is asking? him who <laughs> broke the agreement. It is him who washed his hand from the agreement. And the verse, no, is, a, and, and the verse in chapter 9, verse 29 is not even about the Arab, it's about the Christians, it's not about the people of Quraysh, it's about the Christians who did not fight Muhammad, never fight Muhammad. There's no one, he is a Christian, no. he did fight Muhammad. Okay, say. show me the story where it's... the Christians, okay, hold on, 
Show me the tribe of the Christians which fought Muhammad and attacked him. It doesn't say Christians. It says polytheists. No, who it says no. It says people in the That's book. Exactly what it says. No, don't, my friend. Let us be honest. It no, says it fight, fight who? People of the book. Does it say that? No, which one? It's what do you mean? Chapter, chapter 9, verse number 29. It says, fight and kill the people of the book. Either they pay the jizya or they die. No. It okay. says, fight those who do not believe in God in, or the last day. And the earlier ones, From who? which I From just who? talked who? about, no, 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 it's talking about the don't same jump. people I was just don't jump. The don't jump. broke don't, the oath and attacked him don't, first. Don't, don't That's jump. That's who it's talking about. Don't jump. That's the context. Fight. It doesn't fight. say Christians. Okay, it says the Christians. Here we go. The it's one, in, no, the one the who is surah. giving the scriptures. You know, no, stop lying, my friend. Everybody is laughing. Okay. I mean, okay. I I, okay. I, I, I am it's showing, the, my friend, surah. I am showing Islamic translation. Now, all Islamic translation says it clearly that those are the Christians and the Jews. Why you? No, it lying? doesn't. It doesn't. Mention okay, read with me. Like okay, read, read the screen. Now, read the screen. Enough of that. Read, the, read the screen. No, like read the screen. Times. No, no. I want to know. Do you agree know. with Leviticus I twenty-one know. nine? My that friend, says, let me, a priest's daughter let me, who loses her honor by committing fornication, thereby dishonors her father, also shall be burned to death. My friend, Do you agree with that in the, the Bible? The the law of Moses is the law of Moses and fit for the time they live in, thousand of years ago. It's in so the Bible. I agree it's with everything. I'm making it simple for you. I agree with everything in the Bible for that time so we agree so yes. you we it's agree still in the Bible. now listen don't the, so you don't, don't agree change the topic now. don't change the topic you're trying to run we, we no, can go we, we can go to the Bible. I, I, about I just told you I just told you I just told you I agree I just told you I agree with everything written this so is the law this is the law this is the law this is the law was given to the people at that time and I agree with it you see you are so it's no longer valid let, let me show you no 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 because yeah this is the law of Moses. there's a there's a law given to the jews but you're saying that there's listen the even your god hold on even your god says that this is the law of we give to the jews here we go the same chapter we're reading from to show you how hypocrite you are in chapter 9 verse number 28 it says that allah he gave allah he gave the order to the jews if if somebody killed an innocent person as if he killed all mankind is yeah, that correct that still applies today so no, so does not apply today. No, does not apply today. You Muslims, you kill every. You Muslims, you kill innocent people. You Muslims kill innocent people. You Muslims, you're a liar. You see, I here we go. I'm proving you. I'm, you I'm proving you that you are a liar. It says in front of us, fight those who they are, Christians and Jews. Read the translation. No, it doesn't say that. Okay, read the read the translation. It's in front of us on the screen, please. Let me look. That's not a right translation, and it doesn't okay, say Christians. Okay, different translation. No problem, my, my friend. We have no like one there. Does it say Christians? Hold on, so hold on. Every, everybody is laughing at screen. you. Everybody is laughing at you. Choose a translation from this website. Nah, any the smart people who know any translation about in this website. You. Okay, my Thank friend, God my friend, I'm not you. my friend. Hold on. Everybody is laughing. Can you please do me a favor? I'm not your friend. Can you? I'm not friends. Sure, you are not a friend. Here we go. You just showed me that you are a person. You are yeah, a I don't like evil liars like you. You are a liar. You are a liar. Here we go. Choose a translation again. from the list. Anyone, anyone you wish. We have all this list. Look how big. Anyone he agree with you that those are not about the Christians and the Jews. You're showing it on the screen and it doesn't say Christians. Um, uh, that means it you're says, a liar and no, a it, say, it says it's a so Christian. So let's look at the Bible. It says a Christian. How are people And hold on, to know? and I can show you the interpretation okay. too. I will let hold you on, talk. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. This is the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. No, hold on, hold on. Because I, you are trying to run. This is Ibn Kathir. Why you are lying? Nah. This I'm is, still talking. This is Ibn Kathir saying those are the Christians and the Jews. And the Prophet, he ordered them to be humiliated. Disgraced. No. Nope. Why you are lying? Why, it's in the front of us. Why does your translation not say Christians us. or Jews? Then? What trans? No, it says that. Here we go in the front of us. No, why? It What's wrong with you? It says here the word Christian and Jews. It's in front of us on screen. No. Nope. And I don't follow that translation either because it's okay. Not what translation true. you follow? What translation so you follow? Okay, no, 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 no. You said to me, you, you said to me, listen, listen, Abdul. You said, you said, you said, you said to me, you said to me, you said to me, how are they supposed to know that that's you, supposed to you, be for the time? Listen, 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 listen. You said to me, you said to me, you said to me, you believe in the monotheism, you believe in the monotheist translation. Can you read for me the verse from that from that translation? No, you agree that a non. Can you read for me? Can you read for me from the translation no, you quote from me from? That. So why, why now you don't want to read? I told you I agree with everything in the Old Testament. All you can do is yell, and you my can't friend, answer anything. My friend, you know I told wrong. you I agree. I am not ashamed. Happens. 
I am not ashamed of my book. This is my book fit for them and this is their time god okay. gave them a law and for Jesus. the record so now i'm christian asking you prince, why you are lying christian saying prince this admits, verse is not about the christians why you are lying so for the record christian for prince the record admits, why you are saying why you don't read for me why you me. why you don't read for me the verses which is in the quran translation the one you just read for me from before can you give me I'll the link? Okay, hold on, hold on. But okay, oh, guys, guys, guys can somebody, me. can somebody, find, can here. somebody find me the monotheism translation for the Quran, the one who told me he is reading from? Can somebody post the link? Yeah, Google it. It's okay. pretty easy. I already read it to you. Okay, as hold well. on. It, doesn't, okay. it says fight those who do not believe in the God of the last day. It doesn't say it's in there. Doesn't say so, from who? Doesn't say from record. who? It doesn't say from who? It doesn't say Christians. It okay, says, hold on, hold on. Okay. believe in God in the last day. Okay, okay. The, mon the monotheist, that, the monotheist uh, uh, translation. Hold on. Quran. Yes. So for the record, Christian prince agrees in Leviticus 21.9 that says, A priest's daughter who loses her honor by committing fornication and thereby dishonors her father also shall be burned to death. So he's saying that any priest's daughter who is a non-virgin should be burned to death. He agrees with that. That's pretty you see, evil you and see, disgusting. You see, you are disgusting. How can you and say you are, that? How you, can you agree you, with that? You are, that's only you one are disgusting and you are a liar because I say, <laughs> I say, <laughs> that's all you can do is assume. This is the law. This is the law given to the Jews at their time. To this is because the Jews they they are very it very much. Say that. Listen, listen, it listen, listen. This is the law of Moses. You idiot. Even your God, He says we gave Moses the law and the tablet. You are a liar and you are a stupid. Didn't your God? He said that he gave it to Moses. <laughs> it's so did, funny did your, that all you can do is Did your so God? Did your God say he gave it to Moses? Did your God say he gave it to Moses? Guys, give me give me the translation for this guy. Let's get him busted life on air. The translation <laughs> for the monotheist. Can you give me the link? Man, can you give me a link yourself? Pretty, can you post a link? Disgusting. Can you post a link for me in Paltok? Can you post a, post a link for the translation? So are you going to go around can and you give me a translation? Can you give me the translation you accept? Stop being a coward. Are, give are me, you a dangerous? Give me, give me, you, uh, give me, give me the translation you accept. <laughs> so if you follow the Bible, are you going to go around to all the churches and my friend, find their daughter? My friend, and, no, and no, we don't, evil. we don't burn, we don't burn. I mean, that's what See, it says. This is how that's stupid you, you are. You it is you who that. burn. Okay, shall I show you that uh, uh, Ali he burned people alive just because they are wrong? No, he doesn't do that. So you believe Shall that I Jesus show you? is God, Shall right? I show you? Talk about Shall I show you your prophet? He ordered. He, he was questions. going to order to burn people just because they did not show no, up for a Friday it's, prayer. It's our turn to talk about Christianity. So we talked about see, Islam we are, you, First of all, you are not talking about Christianity, and you are a liar. You are talking about the Judaism. It's from law. the Bible. What do you, you mean? Are, I'm not the, the Bible is the, the Bible is a book of books. This is the book of the Jews, and this is an order. You follow the. No, no, we don't follow everything in the Bible. You liar. You I, I will give you an example. I will give you an example. I will, I will give you an example. I will give you, I will give you an example, a very clear example. In the beginning of the Bible, so it you, says that the man. The entire okay, world hold on. And you do say the same. In the, you, you know, claim. hold on, hold on. Did did the children of Adam yeah, have sex with their sisters? Yes or no? Did the children of either. Adam? Did the children of Adam have sex with their sisters? Well, that's ridiculous. Did you? No. Did, did they have sex okay, with so, so, so it was it allowed for Isaiah them. So it was allowed. So it was Make allowed for them, but it's not allowed for us. To their fathers. Listen, listen. So you're it gonna, was not. It so was allowed for was them, criminal, not allowed for us. That you should kill their son. So you, wanna, you know, this guy. He just want to talk. You know, was it allowed? Nah. Now, let me ask nah, you. you okay. talk over me. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did your prophet arouse the muta? Do you follow the muta? No, I don't even know who that is. Chap What's chapter four, Muta. verse number twenty-four. Your prophet he allow you to rent women for sex. Arabic. Huh? Tell me what muta. Muta, I mean muta pleasure, sexual pleasure. Yeah, what about it? Did your prophet he order in the Quran, chapter four, verse twenty-four, to do muta? You see, you are asking me why I don't follow the Old Testament, burning somebody, right? It's okay. It's your Quran the, given to you by your prophet, you don't follow it no more. Do you practice muta? No, it says, here's what it says, 424. So, in the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful, <laughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, and the Indian print for the women, except those main temples, the book of God is over you and permitted for you what is beyond this if you are seeking with your money to be independent for illicit sex. As for those whom you already had your joy with, then you shall give them their dowries as an obligation. There is no sin upon you for what you agree after the obligation. God is knowledgeable, wise. It says right there, not for illicit sex. Lewdness is forbidden. 
So let's talk about it what says you believe. Being them, you it says being them. It's them. Okay, hold on. We found the translation. No. We found the translation. So Jesus we God, found right? the translation you choose for us. What do you say? Can, shall Why we read are you it? so afraid shall to we talk read about it? your beliefs? Shall we read it? You're coward. Shall we read it? This is the translation. This is the it. translation. I just read it this is the translation you what choose you for about? us. Can we? Can we? Can we read it? I just read it to you. Go ahead and read the same no, thing. No, chapter nine, verse number twenty-nine. We will go one by one. Chapter 9, verse 29. Shall Why we, are you so afraid to talk about your religion? We, it, we, did, we, we did. We did. We did. I answered you. you. And not only that, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I agree. Now let us read together. So, so you agree so, that you should slaughter listen, listen, sons. Listen, 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 guys, listen, no, listen, 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 listen this is the translation you quote for me. It says, giving the book. Who are they, those who are giving the book? You coward. Who is the one giving the book? Who is the one giving the book? Why do you want to read it? Chapter 9. Shut up. What a donkey. Guys, this is the translation he gave us. He said the monotheist translation. It says those who they have given the book. I'm going to call you back and you're telling me who is the one who's giving the book. You liar, you liar, you coward, you have no dignity. You said it doesn't say there anything. You, you cut the word, the book. Everybody heard you, it's recorded. Here it says, from those, the people who they are giving the book, who are they the one giving the book? I will call you back. You don't mean a child who is the one is giving the book in the translation <laughs> who is the one is giving the book you want to have a real you need to be more because you don't let me talk you don't let me talk who is here. the one is giving no, the book answer who is the one you said the verse I, is not about the christians no. who is the one giving the book explain to us i have let you talk and ask me questions i am for the no I, I i answer you minutes. too i am asking you now who is the one is giving the book you said there's no christian there this is not about the christian it says in the translation you choose that this is a war against those who don't believe in Allah from those who they are giving the book people of the book who are they discussion like any form who debate. are they why you, you don't say okay tell me no problem we are discussing tell me no. who is the one who are they those who they are giving the book according to Islam you say this is not about the Christian this is not about the Jews either you apologize you say you were stupid or you say I was lying or you no. say the truth give okay who is the one is giving the book I will answer in a, in a minute, but you need to shut up and learn to have. I'm, I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. Who is the one giving? In the a book? normal debate, in a normal we are not debate, debating. This is not the debate. You are a kid. 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 You are a liar. I will respect you. Answer. In a debate. They don't allow one person to constantly yell and interrupt this, the other you, person. You are the really one. You are the one who interrupting. I am asking hour. you. Shut you change up, the topic. You change the. Immature. You change the topic because you, you are a coward. Now answer. Discussion. Stop talking. Stop talking. Seriously. Saying nothing. What is, what, is what is the answer? What is the answer? Sure enough. You potato. What is the answer? Are you going to answer or not? Are you going to answer? If there's any Christians who want to have a real discussion, <laughs> then contact me. We can have an actual. No, no, debate. don't run, don't Not run. Who child. are they? The people of the book. You coward. Why no. you want to leave? Just tell us who you is the people of the book. See how he just interrupts. You coward. Like a little kid. I am interrupting. I, I am not interrupting. I'm waiting for you to answer. I give you the mic 15 minutes ago. And he can't have, have a real discussion. That's why he's never. He'll don't never run be and don't hang up. Debate. Don't hang up. Imagine like in okay. a university. I'm not going to talk. I'm waiting for the answer. I'm waiting for the answer. Go ahead. Okay, then let's be fair. I will answer one more of your questions. No, 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 no okay, no, not one more. Questions. No, no, just answer this one. Just answer this uh, one, please. You say there's no Christian, there's okay. no Jews in chapter 9, verse 29. Listen, you say there's no Christian, there's no Jews in 929. And this is the translation you choose. We've gone over this five times. No, you did not. You did not read I'll the word. One you did time. not read. You did not read the people of the book. It says yes, the people of the book. Who are the people of the book? It doesn't say that right it here. Doesn't say that. It's in the front of us on the screen. It's in the front of us in the screen. Are you stupid? 
It's in the screen. No, Everybody's laughing at doesn't. you. This is it the says, monotheist group editor translation. Read it, guys. This is the translation you choose for me. Stop lying. No. Fight those who do not believe in God of the last day. So it says, nor do they restrict what God and his messenger have restricted, nor do they uphold the system of truth from among the people who have been given the book. Talking Thank about you. the Quran. Who are they, the one, the, the people? The Wonderful. Who are they? You said, you said it doesn't say Christian or Jews. Who are they, the people of the book? It doesn't say Christian. It's talking about my the system friend. Of the who truth. are they? The people of when the book. The who book. are they? The people of the book. The Hindus, the Buddhas, the atheists. Who no. are they? Who are they? It's the polytheists. Who are they? The people of the book. The people of the, the book are polytheists. Are you a donkey? What is their book? What is the name of their book? You what need, is the name of the book? What is the name of their book? Like what is, shut up, you idiot! Don't call me again. You are just a kid donkey. Coward. Every single Muslim agree that this is about. I lost my voice. <laughs> Christian friends, do you agree with that? I agree with every verse in the Old Testament, and we are not ashamed of it. But because you are ashamed, you are covering up. You are reading for me a book written thousands of years ago, fit for their time. And because the Jews are people of dignity, not like you, who your prophet allow you to hire women for sex. So if a woman she did do adultery anyway, the punishment for adultery in the Jewish law is is death It is death anyway, and you're a prophet. He copied that from the Jews But yet we cannot fight in the Quran and you coward you say to me you follow the Quran only But we cannot find the punishment of adultery in the Quran of stoning Why because the goat ate it and look we showed him the translation he chose. He jumped it. He did not read the people of the book. And he did not agree. He did not say, who are they, those people of the book? And later at the end, at the end, he says, the polytheist. What is the polytheist? <laughs> is that a new religion? What is that? Who is the one giving the book? What is the name of the book? What is that? Coward. But I'm so glad that you've been cut and recorded. Christian Prince, do you agree with burning? <laughs> do you agree with the stoning? Today we don't stone. Obviously, we don't do that. What, what does that mean? That's mean that this was, was fit for that time. Even Jesus in his time, he said to them, to the women who the Jews, they were going to stone her. He said, I don't judge you too. And he let her free. Jesus said it's been said to you, but I say to you, which means there is something being said to the Jews, and there is something being said to us, including the Jews too, who follow the Messiah. You are silly and you are stupid. The children of Adam they used to have sex with their sister. Can we do that? It was allowed for a reason, for a time. But you Muslims, you are ashamed of your book. But the most amazing thing that this person who is open Google and try to ask me questions about the Bible He said amazing answers like the Sun set in the murky water and The Sun yes every day goes from the east to the west Agreeing with the Quran and claiming that this is what is right You might agree disagree about the Bible, but to be to be honest all always about the Old Testament we have to compare how people used to live thousands of years ago when the Jews they have a law other nations they used to each each other alive Actually not long time ago Christianity come to many nations and those nations used to eat people life. They cook them. They eat them So we are talking about a law when the Arab your ancestors Muhammad himself He used to worship his stones thousands of years after Moses kissing his stones And if this is horrible, why you're a prophet? He follow Moses, and why he approve him? You see what happened always. You will see somebody. He will come in the year two thousand nineteen. He says, "Look what it says here." Well, go there and live at that time. At that time, everybody lived by the sword and died by the sword. 
and this is a small society they are called Jews they want to be sure that this is an extreme punishment so nobody will do it so when you do that you know that what you are going to face you do it it's mean you choose the punishment you have no problem when here in America it says if you kill somebody some state agree with the execution they will execute you it's mean you don't care execute me I will kill him when you break the law knowing what the punishment the punishment is not a secret that's mean you are willing to take care to take all the way up to the punishment if they discover you did so when we speak about something we speak about it in the time and in the history we don't compare it today until now in Texas there is a law it says women underwear are not allowed to published in the public with men underwear when we hear this we laugh but because you are comparing a law was exist 200 years ago with today where neither men or women wear underwear no more <laughs> so you know when a Muslim he tried to put down the Old Testament we laugh at you Muhammad he came thousand of years after Moses and he take us back to the cave time and the proof it is you who said that uh, the Sun set in a murky water that is beyond the cave time and look here at the Prophet Muhammad who is supposed to be a prophet of God he says that if a woman they are lesbian we jail them until they die do you agree with jailing women who they are lesbian until they die what you will say no or you will say yes or you are a hypocrite the Mo the law of Moses is the law of Moses now this is your law and if somebody is a gay we beat him with sandals and here you see how the God of Islam is discriminating between men having sex together and women having sex together if a man have sex with a man we beat him with sandal and if he repent we let him go but if a woman having sex with the women we jail them until they die what kind of justice is that why the punishment for women she is being lesbian is jail until they die but if a man is being a gay he repent and the punishment maximum you beat him with sandal you beat a guy a gay with a sandal he get excited <laughs> sandals and if you repent you let him go but yet the women if she have the same crime we jail them until they die why which one is more ugly two women kissing each other touching each other or a man doing a man which one is more ugly so why the punishment of the women have no mercy and until death you jail them but a man if you repent he go so you don't follow the why you Muslims you claim that you are you, you are follow the law of Abraham and the law of Moses the law of Moses doesn't say that you are a hypocrite you claim that Muhammad claiming that Moses was a Muslim prophet okay where is the Muslim prophet who for the Moses the Muslim prophet Moses is a Muslim prophet Muhammad is a Muslim prophet so how come the, the law of Muhammad has nothing to do with the law of Moses And you notice like how he keeps shouting talking 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 he will not answer I said to you I agree with everything in the Bible I agree with everything those things fit perfectly for that time at that time people don't have even law people they you know people live by the sword and die by the sword Israel the whole nation been taken as a slaves the whole nation not 100 200 they grab them all as if they are goats have you ever heard of such a thing so you want to compare compare people who live 3,000 years ago with people who live 3,000 years ago not you come today where women they go in the beach and they are almost wearing nothing
<laughs> you see, when we compare the Quran, we compare it with the Quran, not with today. We prove Islam to be false at the time of Muhammad, not necessarily today. Hypocrisy. And look, he said to me, I don't believe in the hadith. But isn't it the Quran said that you have to obey the Prophet in order to obey Allah? How you don't believe in the hadith? You are a hypocrite. But I believe he said to me that so he will avoid showing him the hadith. He will say to himself, okay, I will say to him, I don't believe in the hadith and that will cut any, any drive from him to get me busted from the hadith. I will say, I don't believe in the hadith. That's it. It's gone. But the Quran written in the same time, and there is nobody have the Quran. Actually, nobody have the book of Al-Bukhari. Al-Bukhari doesn't exist. Nobody have the book of Sahih Muslim. It doesn't exist. Nobody. Those books are not, uh, not printed. This is somebody claim that this is what Al-Bukhari said. Same for the Quran. We don't have the Quran. Nobody have the Quran. All the Qurans they have is written centuries after Muhammad. It's coming from his recitation. Even the official uh, uh, Quran, which is printed by Saudi Arabia, in the first page it says that this Quran is according to the recitation of recitation of recitation of recitation of recitation of, recitation of, recitation of Muhammad. Recitation. Because there's no book. So what is your book? And not only that, Muhammad himself, he said that the one who obey the messenger, he obey Allah. You say, I don't believe in the hadith. That's mean the Quran proving to us to be short of logic because now how we can obey the prophet if we don't receive the word of the prophet. Correct, guys? If I'm a Muslim, God forbid, and I want to obey the messenger, how I can obey the messenger if I did not get the words of the messengers? Because the Quran says I have to obey the messenger and by obeying the messenger, I obey Allah because Muhammad is more important than Allah. Okay, I want to obey the messenger. Where is the word of the messenger? The Quran is the word of Allah, supposedly. So how you lie to us and you say, I am not going to accept the hadith. How we can how we can obey Allah Messenger without the Hadith? <laughs> right. Now listen. <clears throat> I want every one of you to copy this video especially since we talk we start talking and let everybody laugh at this cult who believe that the Sun sit in the murky water and this guy trying to convince us that the Sun is so small actually you know what I'm going to replay it hold on I don't know how long ago he called me because this is fun when he started talking, by the way, I thought he is like, uh, I mean, he's being funny or something, you know, but this guy is serious. This guy is serious. He's very serious. What about, he's talking about, you just said how we see the sun. That's mean that the sun is sitting, sunset, sun, sunrise, correct? I mean, you can say that water is running. You know, is that wrong? No, the water, is running. Yes, water is, running. is running. No, water is running. No, water is running. If it's running, it doesn't running. literally run. No, it does. It doesn't literally run no, just like the sun. It moves. No, no, no. It does. It does. Like the, it does. Sun. the water run. The water move from A to B. Water has legs. You're saying that water no, no, can no, run no. with legs. No, water no, doesn't my, have legs. My friend, doesn't running, run. running have nothing to do. I'm with saying running have to do nothing to do. Okay. With just, remember, remember. First of all, you are not reading the Quran. In uh, uh, Quran is not meant to be in English. In Arabic, it says tajuri. It actually is tajuri. Tajuri. No, it's in Arabic. Tajuri. Hmm? Yeah, I know the word tajuri. It means yeah, go ahead. Go you ahead. run. You run. It, it's running from location to location. Now, you said and you agreed 
that this is about how we see the sun. So Allah is speaking here about the sun setting, the sun rising. But this is absolutely false. The sun does not set, the sun yes, does I, not rise. All, all it says is that it runs to a specific destination. And what is running that, what is what interpreted is the same way that the same way that water is running. <laughs> okay, it moves friend. to a certain a certain but, destination, okay, which okay. it does every single day. It's go, just a, all right. If we go just a, a, a two verses down, we can read the verse before. You can re read the verse before it and the moon uh, after it have measured in their mansion. The Quran believe that the moon have mansions, and this is what the legions before believe that the, the moon uh, he have mansions. He live in the places and he move from place to place. And people, even the Sabian, they used to go, and uh, when the moon disappear, uh, they go to the second town to welcome him in the other town because this is a new moon. Now. Here you notice that the moon have houses and he says to you and he run in the old way as it was in the old way but this is not true I mean this is false now if you go in verse number 40 it says it's not permitted for the Sun to catch up the moon nor can the night outstrip the day each just swim along in its own orbit is that correct yeah swimming swimming in an orbit but let's take one thing at a time I mean, it's also important to quote the Quran correctly and not just interpret it, like not just use your own words every time. So 36, 39 says, and the moon we have measured it to appear in stages until it returns like an old palm sheath, which it does. It's like the different stages of the moon, which is. But he normal. says it live in mansions. And is that true? There's mansions for the moon? The, no, I'd say that in the Quran. It says? It well, says it appears. It says? No. It's in front of us. Everybody can read. I'm, re I'm reading your Muslim translation, not my translation. Yeah, which which one are you talking about? Thirty six, thirty nine. Yes. Yeah, it says, and the moon we have middle period and stages. What? So if you want to read from what, the one that I read from, it's what the monotheist what, translation. What translation you are reading? Here, I'll post it in chat. It's you can Google. It's called the monotheist translation. Otherwise, you can go here. Monotheist. To, uh, what does that mean? Monotheist. Yeah, monotheist means one monotheist. That's what we are. We reverence one God. That, that is a new form. The monotheist. Almighty. Let me see if we have it here. Yeah. Monotheist. It says it in it as well. It talks about monotheism. No, okay. Yeah, but my friend, do you speak, I, I, do you speak Arabic? Uh, only some. I don't speak it fluently because it's, it's not my front of us. I mean, But I should learn it. This translation is absolutely false, my friend. It says, So it says the word manazil. So how this guy who ever translated this translation, he said, you can copy this word manazil as you see in the screen. Post it in Google and you will see it mean houses or mansions. So this is a false translation. Well, there's lots of translations that translate it that says the moon we have measured it to appear okay. in stages. And you Arabic see? is a rich language. Anyway, guys, you can play it later. Please download the video after we finish. And you can cut the part where he, if you want, if you want to make it short, where the, this Muhammad and he says the sun is swimming and going in the murky water. You know, actually, I, did, I just got some coffee. I missed the coffee. Uh, but it's re it's very funny how a Muslim always try to fabricate. Right away, they don't want interpretation of any scholar. They don't want the hadith. And he is a Muslim. He is the one who understands the Quran. And now, after understanding the Quran, he come with the conclusion that the sun set in the murky water. <clears throat> hey, Zuha, how are you? Guys, Zuha, she was making fun in her comment. I made a video about her comment, if you remember. She said how the Bible says that the sun is created in, in the fourth day. <laughs> how are you, Zuha? Zuha, so you are making fun of the Bible for saying that. But the Bible says in the beginning, God, not Allah, created the light. So we have light. But in your Quran, Allah created the light at the end. And not only that, your prophet, he says, Allah created the sun in Wednesday. So what do you think, Zuhad? Do you like, do you like to laugh at Allah? Because you said this is against the science. Everybody, I, I have a video. Everybody can watch it. Your comment is there. Correct, guys? Your comment is there. I am a normal human being. I'm so glad that you are a normal human being. Why? I, I was expecting you to have four legs. I know you are a human being. I just want talking to you. Otherwise, I will not talk to you. 
like when we talk to cats we say meow meow I'm talking English to you so obviously you're a human being I'm talking to you so what what this have to do with my question why you made fun of the Bible saying how God can create the Sun in four day and this is against science but while the Quran says Allah created the Sun at the last day so now you are a human being like two a week ago you were not Hmm? Isn't it this is Quran? Your Quran? Let us go to the Quran. This is your Quran, not my Quran. It says that Allah, the last thing He created, it was the the lamps. The last thing after He finished everything, the human, the animals, everything. So what we will do now, Zuha? What do you think? Chapter forty-one, verse number ten. Allah He created number nine actually. He created the earth in two days and then in four days he put mountains on the top of the earth Allah he imported mountains from Home Depot he brought the trucks and then he placed the mountains in the top of the earth okay and then he created the grass and the trees and everything as you see and then after that he went to the sky and the sky was totally smoke there's nothing there nothing smoke nothing and then he completed them as seven heavens all right and then he created the lights only in the lowest heaven this is the last thing Allah he did do you see it the last thing Allah did he created the day and the night according to this verse so what do you what, what do you think uh, Zuha? Are you going to leave Islam now? First, read your Bible. I agree with my Bible. Yes, guys, how many times I need to really say, you see, this is the difference between us and you. You Muslims are ashamed of, you make fun of the Bible. When we show you what is written from the Quran, especially if it's agreement, you bite your tongue. You say, I'm as a human. I'm just a human. I agree with my Bible. What's wrong? Why don't I agree with your Quran? Do you agree with your Quran? How many times I need to repeat saying, I agree with my Bible? Do you agree with your Quran? No, I know how to refute, I got you busted. I agree with my Bible. Do you agree with your Quran? Either you say yes or no. Do you like to call me Zuhar? Do you like to give me a call? Call me and you can you can read for me from the Bible by the way. No problem. I like it. But obviously, you don't want us to read your Quran. That's why you're upset. And you pause for us, read the book of Judges. Okay. okay, what is the book of Judges in the Quran? Why why we don't have it? How come the Jews they have it? You don't have it. Where is the Psalm? Where is the book of Moses in the Quran? I mean, what kind of book this book is? Why the book of the Jews have every prophet book and in the book of Muhammad there's nothing but fairy tale stories. Where is the stories of Moses? Where is the book of Moses? Shouldn't the Quran if you if you Muslim you say that Moses was a Muslim prophet, shouldn't the Quran be a, a book by itself additional to the book of Moses? You say to us that Isa was a Muslim prophet, shouldn't the Quran be additional book to the book of Isa? Where is the book of Asa? Islam religion is like an orphan religion. It is an orphan. There's no daddy, there's no mommy, there's no books, there's no reference, there's no witnesses. Nothing, there's no manuscript. Where is the, the Quran itself? Where is the Quran? Who is a Muslim when to show me the Quran? There's no Quran. Even you Muslims, you say to us that Uthman he burned all the Quran. Why Uthman burning the Quran? He have a, he have, he have Islamophobia. Why why Uthman did that? I think Uthman was the first Islamophobia. Shame on you, Uthman. Uthman the Caliphate was Islamophobia burning the Quran. Stupid. I don't agree with burning the Quran. Why you want to burn it? Let us read it and love. But obviously, Uthman was Islamophobia. Anyone can tell me why Uthman he burned the Quran? I will tell you why. The only reasons, 
even though I'm not there that the other Quran are not the same he wanted to unite the Quran because there's many books they are different otherwise why he want to burn the Quran imagine I have one billion copy of the of the Bible why I want to burn it do we have any Muslim would like to call us And by the way, the verse we see in the front of us on the screen, chapter 41, verse number 12, and 10, and 9, 11, it's total contradiction for chapter 79. Because in chapter 79, Allah created the heaven first, and then He finished the earth. In chapter 41, Allah created the earth first, and then He finished the heaven, which is a clear evidence that the Quran cannot be a book of God. I mean, this is the most simple way to see how, how silly the Quran is. Have you ever heard of a God who don't remember the order of his creation? Huh? Hey, somebody saying to me, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, uh, guys. Somebody says to me, uh, "I am from the Mossad. Do you like to work for us?" <laughs> I work for for Jesus, my friend. What Mossad? I don't know how stupid what you are saying to me. We work for Jesus. This is our employer. What Mossad? I know how silly you are. And what I would do for you? Huh? What I would do for you? I want to work for the Saudi Arabia, Mossad. They, are, they pay better. What's silly? <clears throat> and by the way, we debate the Jews too. I have many videos getting many Jews busted. So what do you, what do you want me to work for? I, I get a lot of Jews busted. If you'll bring me Netanyahu here, I will spank him. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> Anyone? Yeah, you know, we don't take a side. I mean, anyone who is wrong, he's wrong. That's it. I made many videos, you know, uh, rabbi, even Christian minister, Protestant, Catholic, I don't care. You say something wrong, I'm against you. It doesn't matter who you are. And the Jews, they will not be saved unless they accept the Messiah. They are not better than the Muslims. There's no salvation but by the Messiah. As simple as that. Yes, you believe in the same God. Yes, you believe in the Old Testament, but I believe strongly that there is no salvation but by Christ Himself. So what if you are a Jew? For me, you don't believe in the Messiah, you are lost. Yeah, we are not talking about who blow up himself. This is not the topic. You see, we are talking about salvation. We are not talking about we are talking about at the end of the day you see all of us we will die for me as a christian i believe there is no salvation except by the messiah moses will not save me abraham will not save me nobody will save me there's one name only can save me as simple as that this is what christianity is about i am the door i am the truth i am the resurrection and yet the Muslims, they say to us where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it? I am the life. I mean, even by the way, Allah, he tried to copy the name of Jesus, which means Muhammad. So Allah, he called himself the resurrector. That is Jesus. Allah resurrect nobody. Show me where Allah, he was able to resurrect even a chicken. Stories, no witnesses for anything. Even the Quran says it clearly. 
that Allah he refrained from sending miracles. Have you ever heard of a God he refrained? Why are you from the yellow vest in, in France? What do you want? You want less tax? God always make miracle. He's a miracle. Whatever he do, it's a miracle. Whatever God he do, it is a miracle. So how God, who is a miracle, he cannot do miracles no more. And he says, we refrain. That's an excuse. You refrain? Nice to meet you, Mr. Refrain. And when the Muslims, they say that the Prophet of Allah have a miracle. What is that? Marrying a child, she is six years old. What is that? Go into the seven heaven and there is no witnesses. Show me the miracles of Muhammad in the Quran. They say to you, the moon, the moon, brother, the moon, split the moon, the Quran. The Quran never says Muhammad split the moon. The Quran says the judgment is near and the moon is split as of Allah have nothing to do with it guys if I say The judgment day is near and the hurricane came. Does that mean I am the one who made the hurricane? No <laughs> Obviously, it's not me Because if I am Allah and I am saying that to you Then there is no way I will say the judgment is near and the moon is split I should say the judgment day is near and I split the moon. Correct? I split the moon. You don't tell me the moon is split. And by the way, the statement alone is a proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. He saw an eclipse and he believed that the moon is split. Do you see it? The hour judgment is sight and the moon eclipse. This, this is a guy here is reporting the news. This is not a God telling me what he did. Okay, guys, the thunder is uh, is in the sky and the rain is is coming. Oh, but this, but I did not say I am the one who made the thunder. Neither I am the one who sent the rain. You see it. This is the miracle they claim and this miracle proven to us the Islam is to be false because if Muhammad making a prophecy according to his God he is saying the judgment day is near but this is 1400 years ago and the judgment day is not not until now it's not here and how the moon split where is where okay did we glue it together again hey, by the way yesterday <coughs> I bought a crazy glue do you think Allah he used a crazy glue at that time <laughs> oh boy do we have any Abdul by the way crazy glue is good crazy glue will fit perfectly with the crazy Quran Because you have to be crazy to believe that the moon is split ascender. And what happened? Allah changed his mind after he split it. Okay, this is a sign of judgment day. That's mean judgment day. So what happened? He changed his mind, he put it together again. He looked uh, suddenly at his smart watch. He said, Oh, oh, it's too early. I'm going to change the hour now. You split it already. And now we heard the Abdul trying to convince us that the sun really set in murky water. And look, I said to him, murky water. He says, no, not murky water, hot water. Supposedly, like, phew. I mean, it, it make a difference, by the way. He was correcting me. I said, murky water. Actually, he is right. It's hot water. But look, he's like, this is, the man is consistent. Like, no, no, it's not the murky water. It's a black, dirty, hot water. Oh, okay. And the sun is there now. Oh, okay.
and then he you know they go and they quote for you from the Old Testament says do you agree with this I agree with every single word in the Old Testament we are not like you ashamed of our book why I will not agree that's why we this is why we call it the holy book otherwise why we call it holy book why we have it as our book there's a law was given to people who they live in a time and that is their law and this is why you know Jesus he he, he complete the law he fulfilled the law I did not came to destroy I came to complete so the law was not perfected yet and the Messiah he perfected the law so people before the Messiah was living by the law people after the Messiah they are living by the grace of God even the Jews they understood the law wrong when Jesus he do something in the Saturday in Sabbath helping somebody the Jews they say oh, why what are you doing this is Sabbath so what Jesus said to them Sabbath was made for the man for the man not the man made for Sabbath so you go and you say to me the book is says Sabbath Sabbath if you break the Sabbath we would do this to you but obviously the Jews they were not practicing the law correctly they have their own wrong interpretation Uh, yeah, the, this is not a verse, my friend. The verse about if Muhammad he like a woman, her husband must divorce her, is not a verse. This is in the interpretation. <clears throat> uh, you know the story where. Uh, Muhammad he he liked his own son wife Let me show you the interpretation But those you will not find in English anyway <clears throat> Just to let you know and I don't think ever the Muslims will translate but you can get my books you know sex and Allah and you will be able to read uh, let me first give you the link but this is in Arabic this is in Arabic but what you can do you can open with Google and you can translate the whole page this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is official website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I posted the link for you. So what you can do, uh, you can translate. Let me show you where it's going to appear. Um, but maybe in the translation it will be different. <coughs> Here where it says, <laughs> and from what is uh, uh, it was lawful for the Prophet, which means only Allah gave it to the Muhammad only. The first, the best of the booty. Muhammad, he will get the biggest TV in the booty. We attack a house, I take the best of it. Allah made for him an order alone. Then number two, to take the fifth from the booty. Number three, the prayer. Number four, to have increase of number of wives number five to f for women by the by hiba which mean uh, to give herself you do not need to marry her you do not need to ask for uh, engagement she give herself she is lawful number six uh, to to have sex with the women without the permission of her father number seven uh, to do that to, to have sex with the women without paying a dowry uh, because it's sex is not marriage uh, number eight to have sex during doing Hajj or you know uh, going around the Kaaba. Number nine, 
if he if he take an oath, he can take an oath to his wife, but he can break it. It's it's lawful for him. Number ten, and here is the problem. Or well, all of them they are problem actually. إِذَا وَقَعَ بَصَرَهُ عَلَى إِمْرَأَ وَجَبَ عَلَى زَوْجِهَا طَلَاقُهَا If his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. And it is lawful for him to if her. Let us use a Google translation. All right? Google will not really give a good translation, but, eh, you know. <coughs> All right. Here we go. You see, this is the other translation. If he sees his eyes on a woman, for sure here translation is not correct. If his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. Kabich, do you see it? Number ten. So, all what you need to do, the link I gave you, trans use Google Translation. It's not accurate, but eh, better than nothing. I mean, this is a prophet of God. If his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. Why? <laughs> Why? What is that? What does this have to do with religion? What does this have to do with God? So, because I am a prophet of God, if I like your wife, you have to give her to me? If your wife, she walk by and she serve me some tea or some coffee and I like her, you have to divorce her immediately so I can sleep with her. And by the way, all cult leaders they share the same thing all cult leaders they tell many women to sleep with them all the women who come to their religion they want to sleep with them can you see this is the islamic official government website of the kingdom of saudi arabia let me pause the link again you can open it with Google. Be sure you open it with Google. So you can click and do Google translation to the language you speak. I don't know which language you have. And right away you go to number 10. What what, what those numbers you are giving me, Bomba? What those numbers, Bomba? Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? Call Abbas. Abbas is driving. Abbas is a driving and he's a prophet. He goes to the heaven, he come back, nobody see him, even his wife. She was asleep. By the way, yesterday, I, I, what happened to the prophet happened to me. Three angels, they come to me and they cut my chest from here to here. Actually, to there. No, no, not to here. Like, you know, maybe a foot later. Yeah, there, there. Yeah. They cut my foot, my, my uh, you know, they cut me from here to here. Actually, uh, let me show you. I I just have a uh, stitches here. Uh, this is not a stitches. This is a uh, no. This is the. I don't know. It looked like a high heel. Somebody throw a heel or something. Okay, so they cut from here to here, and then the angels. They after they cut uh, my chest, they took all the material out, and they washed them with water of zamzam. And if you don't believe me, I have witnesses. Witness number one. Did you see me? Where the angels were cutting, mm -hmm. yes, it sounds like my voice, but he is the other me because I am many people. I have a chauffeur, what you call it, chauffeur My English is funny, so forgive me. Ooh. 
What is this guy is talking about? That's uh, uh, anyone he tell you I went to heaven, I came back, and then you just you believe? No witnesses, no proof. Okay, he went to heaven. Did he see how the earth looked like? So after he went to heaven, he come with the conclusion that the sun set in murky water. This is what 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 happened to us if we go to the space. Um, and by the way, why the angels they cut his chest and they wash it with the uh, the material in his chest with zamzam? What what does that mean? I mean, what about wash it with the uh, Ariel? There's many good detergent exist in the market. And, and they are really uh, good. I mean, angel sent by Allah, and he took all his material in his in his uh, belly. But what does this have to do with going to the heaven? By the way, I heard brothers that uh, <clears throat> hold on. Let us call Zach and I. Clifford Brent, I told you don't call me late at night. And I am sleeping right now with my four wife. Uh, but brother Zach and I, we have a very urgent question and we need the answer immediately. I told you, I told you once at a time, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to call the police for you. You are not relied. Uh, brother, but we, we need to know what is the connection between cutting the chest of the prophet and his stomach and taking everything off and washing it with Zamzam to go to the heaven? Christian Prince, I'm going to get you busted. According to NASA, all the space people who went to the heaven, actually to the space, before they went to the moon, what did they do to them? They do surgery. And they are sure that they are very healthy. So they do x-ray. In the time of the prophet, they'll do x-ray. To the end, they cut his teeth and they took everything off to be sure everything is fine. And then they put it back. Ah, so because they want to be sure that he is healthy because he will go to the space? Absolutely. And I think now I get you busted. Well, I have to agree. I mean, your answers, by the way, is amazing. Amazing. How, how fast do you make those answers? I told you, I'm smarter than you, and I am more sexy than you, and I know it. And don't call me again. Hello. He hang up. Anyone knows what the point? Hmm? So they cut his chest to be sure he's healthy? Is that why? No. The hadith says, okay, I forgot to tell him. Call him again? <laughs> According to the hadith, guys, according to the hadith, which means according to Muhammad tell, they cut his chest so they can install in his chest a dish of faith and a dish of wisdom. Let us find the hadith. Have you ever heard of a religion like this? God, he make his a prophet surgery, plastic surgery, to install a dish of faith and dish of wisdom? If you don't believe me, here we go. This is the hadith in front of you, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari. So you cannot say it's weak, it's strong, it's whatever, fat, you know. Here we go. Three um, angels, they came. And one of the angels said to the other angel, what? okay, I know the story. And then it says, uh, they took him and they carry him and they placed him beside a will of Zamzam. From among them, Jibreel, one of the, uh, the three men, three angels, are Jibreel. He took a charge of him, which means Muhammad. Jibreel cut open the part of his body between his throat to his belly, not his chest. And then he took all the material off. And by the way, this is very normal. I mean, all uh, prophets before, uh, angels they cut their material and take it off because it's uh, you know I mean rust uh, garbage uh, uh, you know you know you never know you know and then uh, uh, they took from his chest uh, uh, guys read how Christian Prince he read this word abandonment uh, and I learned this from Zach and I don't play me and then 
washed it with zamzam water with his own hands till he cleansed the inside of his body and then a golden tray contain a golden pole full of belief and wisdom brought and Jibreel stuff his chest and throat blood vessels with it and then he closed his chest okay in the Middle East this is exactly how we earn our wisdom Allah he sent us an angel he uh, he have uh, with him two dishes and by the way the dish one of um, gold they are made of gold I mean Allah do you think Allah in his kitchen you have like what plastic gold and like me I did not go to school that's why my English is, is, is perfect because uh, Allah he installed English in my chest and this is why again quote unquote my English is perfect because Allah he installed a dish of English in my chest otherwise I know I do not know English like uh, I woke up after the surgery I start saying hello it's me you are looking for you know otherwise I know nothing about the only English word I know see senor before the surgery after the surgery I learned English and I start speaking English like saying takbir or alhamdulillah you know and this is I have witnesses for that and if you don't believe me I mean why Muslim need witnesses for my stories here we go Muhammad have no witnesses and they believe in it do you Muslims believe in it or no you say yes okay so if I say now I went to the seven heaven and there's three angels they came and they cut my chest and they put uh, 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 what uh, by the way uh, in my chest I have uh, 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 four five hundred uh, pixel display they installed it there and the fast charge battery uh, and uh, I have uh, uh, Android and uh, Andro Android not Android because Android is made by the kuffar. Android is made by Allah. Uh, 1000 Android. And they put all those things, you know, in my chest. And now I'm very smart. I know everything. You know? Ask me, ask me any question. Okay, the gentleman there is asking me questions. Where is Brazil? <laughs> Crazy. Brazil in Brazil. It's in Brazil. You know, ask me a different question. Where is Africa? In Africa, what's wrong with you? I told you I know everything. Yeah, and I know things you do not know. As an example, uh, 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 I have a cat. Her name is Susu. Do you know the name of my cat? You don't. I know it. That's proof that I am God. Worship me. This is what Allah He did with the, His angels. The angels they said to Him. Adam would commit uh, sin uh, Allah he said that told them I know not what you don't know and then he taught Adam the names and then he placed the things and he said to the angels okay tell me the names of those things the angels they look uh, this one we do not know and this one we do not know and this one we don't know so Allah he said okay Adam your turn now tell them the names I taught you Adam starts saying rabbit cow microwave and the angels like wow how Allah he knew the names he is the one who gave the names for those things so how he will not know it what Christian Prince look like this is a very tough question for me because I am unlike anything it's like when you ask a Muslim how Allah look like <laughs> what he would say if you remember when I was debating the Dr. Nabil Baikli he says to me okay Christian Prince Allah is a physical being and he have a leg do you think his leg is like yours and I was looking at my leg I said man good thank God his leg is not like mine I mean if you see my leg you will die from 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 being terrified but what this have to do with the question and why Allah leg have to do to look like my leg it doesn't matter but he have leg it looked like my leg it doesn't look like my leg but still, why Allah have a leg and what he how he look like when you say he have a leg, it's me, I have a leg. Hmm? Anyway, 
Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Actually, I'm afraid, I'm afraid that one day the atheist will use how I look like against us as a Christians to prove that we are uh, coming from the ape. This is why I don't open my camera, brother. I'm not handsome like the Prophet Muhammad. There's a video, a guy, he described how the Prophet looked like. I don't know if, how many of you watch it. If you watch it, you will die laughing. He says, there's a guy, he came in the middle of the night, and then he saw the Prophet, and then look at the moon, and then he looked at the Prophet. And then he look at the moon, and then he look at prophet, and then he look at the moon, and then he look at the prophet, and the guy is like, he is very emotional when he's talking in the video. Oh, let me do it the same. He do it. He came, and the prophet was coming, and there's a background of music, like you know, very, very sincere music. And he saw the prophet, and he saw the moon. And he look at the moons, and he look at the prophets, and he look at the moon, and he look at the prophet, and he look at the moon, and he look at the prophet, and he look at the moon, and he look at the prophet. Hey, come on, are we going to stay the whole night saying that? Conclusion: the prophet is whiter than the moon. That's the whole story. People these days they spend money to get darker skin, my friend. But those Arab are obsessed with the with the white. You go in the Middle East, you will find every every Arabian woman, every mother. My son, I want to make you. I want. I wanted you to marry a beautiful white girl. And you say to yourself, "Oh boy, my mom she chose for me a white girl." Okay. And she have to be white. You know, it's, otherwise it's not uh... actually in the old days. I don't know if you, you know, I told you that Muhammad he promised them that a woman she have will have one mile bomb, right? One mile in the heaven. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, there was a song, and I could not really understand what it's mean in Arabic, but it's a it's a nice song. I mean, as a word, uh, uh, it says that there is a woman she was so beautiful to the point the camel could not carry her. And I was asking myself, what is the connection between the beauty of the women and the camel is not able to carry her? I could not find any connection. I mean, the song is this is what the song says. And then later I figure out from you know the, the elders, they say that in the old days, if a woman she is very heavy duty, you know what I'm talking about, very big, you know, that means she is so beautiful. And if the camel could not carry her, that means she is the beauty queen. Not like today, everybody want to lose weight and blah, 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 blah. Go and go back in time. You can eat as much as you can. And still the men, they will be fighting to marry you. They will be like, please, please marry me, you know. And you say, no, 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 I have to eat more. So in the old days, the, the bigger you are as a woman, that's mean you are healthy and you are good. You will give a lot of babies and the babies will be big. So uh, if you are skinny, you know, that means you are sick. That means something wrong with you. So this is why the songs, and this is why Muhammad, he promised the, the, the Muslims that the women will be so white, extremely white, to the point you can see through the marrow of their bones. You remember the hadith, right? You see it because the Arab they love women who they are extremely white not only white they have to be really really white this is why the word hur hur uh, uh, is uh, is about something extremely white and it's almost it's a transparent you know it's like like a grape grape is hur grape if you look at the grape you put it in the light you see through you see the seed you know Anyway, all right. I think we are we are done for today. I know that we have uh, 
966 people what why we have we have 966 people only 776 they like my video 13 Muslims did not like it why how sad how sad guys what do you think if I have a TV station big one and I'm doing every day a show how many millions will watch it and how many people will sue me for dying laughing Unbelievable. You will destroy me in a debate. Can't you destroy me without a debate, please? Why only in the debate, Solomon? Do you do you like to call me Solomon? <coughs> Solomon wanna destroy me in a debate. Okay, Solomon, shall we shall we start? Do you wanna call me? <coughs> Or maybe you are just trying your keyboard. It's a new keyboard. <clears throat> Is that the case why you said that? Is that why you said that? Because I know there's many Muslims that say things to me they don't mean. It's a keyboard thing, like they are trying it. It's a new keyboard. Actually, to be honest with you, since I bought crazy glue yesterday, I am not worried about you calling me because I will glue myself together. I'm not really worried anymore. And I get it for two dollars from Walmart. You know, I ask uh, I ask a lady there uh, where I can find the glue. She hold me from my hand and took me as if she I'm a kid. Well, why is that? I was like, why? Why? Where, where are you taking me? Maybe because I'm so short. I think she she thought I am Aisha or something. So, uh, Solomon, you want to call me or what? <laughs> Look like he will not call me. I think he was just practicing shouting. Or maybe he have his girlfriend watching the chat and he want to show her how he, how good he is. But you know, we have to admit, the guy who called us an hour ago, he was the best. I mean, I never, like, I, how much I have, uh, how, many, how many thousand Muslims I spoke to? Tens of thousands. The guy today was unique. We have to admit. Don't forget to download the video and cut that part when he is talking to me about the sunset, please. And remember this video will not stay for long so in a few hours from now we will take it down and by the way yeah Noor, uh if they if you are posting your in your channel my videos and they flag your videos and they delete your channel always make many channels some of them are activated some they are not let us say so when you lose one just give me a link we post it here for you and people will subscribe very easy All right Very simple. Don't worry about it. it because he uh, he said he said things as a, I mean the, like he started lying at the end about uh, killing, but uh, in the in the beginning he was saying the yes the sun set in murky water, and the sun move you know and so it was uh, usually Muslims they try to hide that. What is that currency? Uh, uh, my brother Jesus uh, saved me one 100 nuke are you nuking me with 100 oh boy guys I just received 100 nuke what is the currency of nuke what is that I have 100 nuke now I am God to you answer the question that is the stack between I am God. You are God, Solomon. Uh, Nook is the currency of no Norway. 
So if I go to Norway and I, I make 500 uh, nuke, man, I can control the whole earth. That's a good thing. Thank you, my friend, for all the nuke you gave us. Actually, I want to go to Norway, but it's expensive. I mean, the currency of that country will nuke me in the ground before I buy a sandwich there. I will take the first flight and go back. I, I saw once a video YouTube. He was talking. He, he bought a sandwich. I, I, how much it cost him? It's so expensive. So your nuke will, will nuke us down if we go to. Uh, I will be homeless there. No, actually, I saw I saw videos about Norway. It's so beautiful country. It's very beautiful country. Yes, they have a tough uh, winter, but it's really, really beautiful country. They are lucky, actually, and I hope they will uh, they will take care of their country and they will protect it from uh, uh, from all the risks they are facing. Because those countries they are attracting many, many, many foreigners, and you know if you keep receiving foreigners, then the country will be out of uh, Norwegian, you know, in Norway, and then you yourself you will become a foreigner in your land. And they will kick you out. You became minority. Right? Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Uh, please don't forget to download the video right after we finish. It might take maybe 20 minutes for it to be ready. But specifically, the part uh, where we spoke with this guy, please download. And share it with your friend again I want to say thank you uh, to be here and thank you for those who support us I appreciate you and thank you for those who download the videos and keep them around take care and I will try again to be here tomorrow maybe we can find another fish which is fishy All right let us hope but today I did not really do good because in the last three days we have every day life on air a Muslim leaving Islam. Today we did not make any Muslim leave Islam. At least he told us. But maybe from those who they are listening, there's some they decide to leave Islam. Hearing, especially this guy explain how the sun set in murky water, and he is saying that this is what it is. I mean, how how after this anyone can believe in such a cult? right and now I have to go before the Sun sit in the murky water and then in order to grab it back I have to work in the murky water and I don't like to do that thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again take care bye-bye